Luigi di più. Buonanotte, la vaghi! Welcome on back to the Gazette! Thanks for joining us, la vaghi! Exclamation point, cheers! Hi guys, good to see you! Look at you goddamn, look at all these goddamn legends in the, in the stream already. I appreciate you guys. Hello, how are you doing? How goes your week? We're only... Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. I know how to count. Less than four days of Christmas! Who's here? Who's here? Let's say hello, shall we? Let's give some proper hello, shall we? First one here, Chin Double Ingrid! Redeeming that first channel point reward. You should be honored. <laughs> Thank you very much for the 13 months as well. Who else we got here? Hades, welcome back. Speedy recovery, dude. Speedy recovery. That booster kicked my ass. <laughs> also, guys. We have two community, two new community challenges live right now. We've got, um, actually, wait, hold on. I think I need to start them first. I literally created them, but I didn't start them. Veteran streamer guys, pull out your notepads, take some notes, okay? Everything that is going on in this stream right now, I'm gonna need you to do the exact opposite and then you'll be fine and you'll be, you'll be hella successful. I was like, why are they not there? It's like, oh, cause start means begin and you didn't press that. <laughs> it's my first stream here on Twitch, guys. How do you have over 7k followers? Uh, just don't, don't look at that number, ghost. Just sit there and make you. Hi, guys. Why the hell do you show up and support this stupid asshole outside? I have no idea. I'm just here for the free food. Uh. All right. All right. All right. I appreciate you being upfront and honest. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, guys. So like Take two. Guys, we have two new community challenges that were totally started. Not just right now. <laughs> Guys, this is Chapter 3 Community Challenges Live and the Mario Kart 8 Tournament Community Challenge is now live. So if you'd like to see either of those or maybe both, feel free to put your channel point rewards towards that. All right, let's go back to uh, finishing the hellos because I'm a veteran streamer. And also ramen challenge going down this Friday, Christmas Eve. I'm going to be dying for you, chat. That's my present to you, okay? My butthole being on fire. What a pleasure, not really. <laughs> so that's going down this Friday, 8 p.m. Pacific. If you want to see what time it's going down in your time zone, go to my schedule section on my Twitch page and you shall see that. All right, let's continue the hellos. Let's continue the hellos. Ingrid, thank you again for the 13 months. Hades, welcome back, bro. Covered no name, good to see you, brother. Yeah, dude, we finished chapter two. Took forever, but we did it! Abby, welcome back! Thanks for redeeming the cat champ. <laughs> Good to see you, Nazasu. Welcome back, baby. He was a broken Sam. You gonna do chapter three, Sam? Yep, just, yep. We'll, we'll do it as soon as the uh, the community challenge is achieved. Bahadur, welcome back, bro. Who's just kicking my ass? Recover zone! Uh, today's winter solstice. Shortest day of the year for us in Northern Hemisphere. Oh, gotcha. I did not know that. My body aches and everything is freezing. Get out as fuck. Oh, you got the chills. You got the chills. Yeah, dude. Make sure you're nice and cozy, bro. I had, I definitely had the chills. Which, uh, what did you get for your, um, for your booster, by the way? You team Fies, Modern, Jayan Jay. Samalam, oh oh, Jahe, welcome back, bro. Good to see you, Cloud Nightmare. Welcome back. Good to see you too, dude. <laughs> Sorry, I, I blended you and covered no name because <laughs> you guys' name color is very similar. But welcome back, guys. Welcome back. 
Good old those cute holiday emotes in the chat. Footlong, welcome back, dude. Good to see you. Have you tried, uh, lol? What I was about to say, a warm bath usually helps with aches and pains, and I would suggest some ibuprofen helps with inflammation and fevers. Did I? Yeah, I definitely popped, uh, I definitely popped some Advil. I didn't have a huge headache, but I definitely had a little bit of a headache. It was more so the chills. Uh, I heard Epsom salt baths are great too for body aches, but I've never tried it myself. Mean either. Salt baths for me are super bad. They end up giving me anxiety attacks and accelerated heart rate. I mean, don't do that. <laughs> I'm here. I'm summoned. I'm ready. Welcome back. Good to see you, baby. Cheers, guys. Cheers, cheers. Thank you so much for being here. We're not even in the game yet, and you guys are here. Mm. Speaking of game, what are we playing, baby? You know it. You know it. We're starting up case number three in the Great Ace Attorney Chronicles. Let's fucking go, man. Let's fucking go. If you're in the States, exclamation point, Xbox. If you want a chance to win an Xbox Series S, buy up those raffle tickets using your channel points. Raffle tickets cost a thousand each, and you guys have the end of you. You pretty much have until the end of next week. I'm closing off the entries on the 31st, or I, I guess I'll say New Year's Day, right at midnight. Miss Siva, welcome back to the stream. Nazisu, cheers, bro. Good to see you, man. Merry Christmas, yes. Merry Christmas and happy holidays, everyone. We're almost there. Doggo's abusive, dang. Nah, dude, he just doesn't like the truth. Oh. He's on his period. Okay! Oh. Oh! Whoa! I think he wants... I think he needs a... I think he needs a new sweater for Christmas. I think he's getting a little tired of this one. How's that, man? I'm a basic ass bitch. You only give me one outfit. What, you want to be naked? You were naked up until I adopted your dumb ass. So you're welcome. Didn't have to get you this Supreme. Do you know how much the equivalent costs? Supreme, motherfucker. You put that on a pair of socks and all of a sudden it's like, oh yeah, Supreme socks is only, only for the low price of $3 million. Oh, that sounds like a good deal. Can I put a mortgage on that? Like, bruh. Ungrateful cuck. Rainy goes four out four out. Look at this fucking guy. Killer Swill, welcome back to the stream, dude. The mail, there's certain things you can spend bones on, but they're not uh, they're not going, but they're there. <laughs> because Sam needs all the help he can get. It's true, dude. It's true. <laughs> yeah, I haven't decided, like, because I definitely want to do, um, I definitely want to give, like, some kind of a prize for whoever wins first, but, you know, I can't, I, I didn't want to say right off the bat, like, oh, uh, first place winner will get a, since, you know, since it's Switch, I was like, oh, it's appropriate that I give them a Switch gift card, but if they don't live in the U.S., then it won't activate, so, yeah, uh, the first place winner will get some kind of gift card. I'll just say that. I'll take both. Thank you, Mr. Sam <laughs> You really want us to use up our channel points with all these challenges and giveaways, huh? Did you know? <laughs> just saying, you got options, okay? He doesn't want you guys to be in him. Hey! I'm just giving you guys options, all right? I'm not pointing a goddamn metaphorical gun to your head, being like, hey, give it to this challenges, because I don't want the beans. But, you know, if you, if you love me, you won't. Yes, I am looking at you and testing a goddamn friendship right now. If you love me, you won't. But what if they hate you? Just, just, just don't, just don't do it, okay? Bean boozles are temporary. VIP badge, on the other hand, that's forever, baby. But it costs like four times the amount. Oh my, oh my God. Just do it. <laughs> There's a limited amount of badges. You guys don't want to miss out. <laughs> Let's go. Can't wait for Friday. Yeah, dude. And I got confirmed earlier today at work. I don't have to show up on Friday. Yes. Ooh. Even if I did, it would have only been a half day, so honestly, not the end of the world, but still. Oh my gosh. So that means on Thursday, I could do a little bit of a longer stream. I do have some stuff that I want to take care of on Friday morning. Our but, um, yeah, dude. Returns. Session! Home. Hey, boo boo bear, Merry Christmas. <laughs> Sesh, baby! Welcome back to the stream, bro! And thanks for the 26 month resub. Hype and hearts in the chat. 
Session, brah. Miss you too, dude. Yo, Sesh, I, I'm, I'm seeing you. I'm lurking in the background on Twitter. I see you making those moves, bro. I'm so happy you're still doing what you're doing, bro. How goes life? How goes everything? And you're a sub, dude, so I don't even have to permit you. You got a website. Anything you want to promote, drop that shit in the chat, dude. Good to see you. Thanks for tuning in, man. No, you're a busy guy and you got a you got a, which I'm sure like a boatload of stuff to do on your schedule. So thanks for taking time out of that day or evening to come hang out, dude. Case number three, finally. Yes, that's it. I know, I know. We've been uh we going through a little bit of an ace attorney drought. Didn't do it last week, so yeah. Definitely gonna be starting up case number three today. Exclamation point schedule if you wanna see what's going down for the rest of the week. Or you could just you know, on mobile or PC, just go to the schedule section on my Twitch page and you'll see everything going down. Thursday, seven days to die. Friday, Friday night, uh, 2x spicy ramen challenge. And then after that, I'm going to be starting up um, my my second, but my homie Ectoro, his first playthrough of A Way Out. So yeah, that will be after the ramen challenge. And then Saturday, I don't think I'm going to be streaming because I'm going to be doing family stuff. But yeah, if I do, it'll be a bonus stream. Good to see you, Miss Evil. Supreme socks are 3 million. That's a bargain. First place for what? Oh, for the uh, the Mario Kart tournament. Like whoever wins first place in that, I'm going to give them either a Steam gift card, like if they live outside the US, because, you know, the uh, the Nintendo eShop gift cards will only work if you live in the US. So yeah, whoever wins that will get some kind of a gift card. Good evening, Footlong. How you doing, bro? But during all the way for show, dude. Yee, yeah, same, same, same. Ain't taking booster. I'm good. Yo, dude, it's your life. You do what you want, man. But I recommend it. <laughs> Omicron's getting kind of crazy, dude. Lucky, I have work on Friday. I have to work till 8 p.m. Oh, damn. I'm sorry to hear that, dude. On Christmas Eve, bro? What do you do for work? What the fuck? That's whack. Thanks again for the 26 months, Sesh. Thank you, man. I miss you. Love to hang out in 2022 in person in Cali. Fuck yeah, dude. Uh, any plans to go to TwitchCon? I'm going for show. And Miss Sievel, how are you doing tonight? Oh, yeah. And dude, Sesh, um, just a heads up. If you've been sitting on channel points and you want a chance to win an Xbox Series S, dude, that's the that's the that's the that's the, that's the big giveaway I'm doing this month. Tis the season, my dudes. Um, use your channel points and you can buy raffle tickets for a thousand bones each. I'm keeping track of all your guys' tickets in my exclamation point discord, by the way. And yeah, Sesh, you are in my Discord, so if you haven't already, make sure to react to the other giveaways going down there. In the regular giveaways channel, I've got 10 random Steam keys, and in the sub giveaways channel, um, I'm also giving out 10 $10 Steam gift cards. So yeah, subs essentially have two two giveaways. I mean, if you live in the if you live in the states. Sam, any fave game of 2021 since we're coming to the end of the year? Ah, oh, dude, honestly. If we're okay, okay, okay. If we're talking about games that released this year that I played this year, I haven't played a whole lot. No question. It takes two. I love that game. I'm so happy at one game of the year. Awesome. So deserving. Um, if we're talking about games just in general, oh dude, it's gotta be New Vegas, bro. It's gotta be New Vegas. <laughs> Granted, I'm not playing it as much as like when I first started, but still, like, I, I adore that game. Um, even though I'm restarting for like the sixth time and <laughs> We still haven't started the DLC. So yeah, favorite game in general, New Vegas for sure. So happy I decided uh, to start playing that because I've met a handful of you guys through that game, which is insane because that game came out in 2010. Like if you were to tell me in retrospect, like let's say a year ago, like, oh, hey, Sam, you're going to come back to streaming at this point and then you're going to play a game that's 10 years old and you're going to like, you're going to... Like your community is going to expand from that and you're going to meet new people that will come and still support you even after you play. I would be like, ah, LA Noir, bro, Cole Phelps, pressing X to doubt. I don't know about that. I'm not putting my money on that. <laughs> so it's crazy, dude. It's crazy, man. But yeah, specifically stuff that came out this year. Oh, it's no question. It takes two. If I was playing, if I was in a Final Fantasy 14, I'd probably see, I'd probably see N Walker because dude, that shit looks crazy. And I don't know if the queues are getting better, but I hope you guys aren't having to wait like that long. But yeah, I mean, now that now that I've taken like 10 minutes to give you a long-winded answer for a simple question, 
how about you guys in the chat? What is your, what's either, what's either your game of the year or what's like the favorite game? Um, how you been, bro? Dude, I've been doing fantastic. I'm so happy to see you streaming again and killing it. Thank you, dude. Hey, likewise, man. Except not on the streaming side, but you doing like uh, the live coaching and everything that surrounds that. Like when I, when I either see your tweets or see like your posts on Instagram, there's like this energy that I feel from it where it's like, you're not trying to force a passion into this. Like you're just, you know what I mean? You just naturally are. And so I don't, I don't know if like you believe in like, oh, everyone has like their calling or this is like what I'm like destined to do. But I, I at this at this juncture in your life, this is definitely it for you. And I'm so happy you decided to fucking just go full throttle and just pursue it, man. You too, Miss Evil. Thanks for being here. Or say for being boozled. Or don't. Yeah, no. <laughs> but yeah, I'm doing great, Miss Evil. Um, still indecisive about TwitchCon doing things in the moment. Going to Peru next month. Oh shit! How long are you gonna be there, bro? That's awesome! Oh man. You better get yourself some- Oh my god, I love Peruvian food. Like, you better get yourself some authentic Peruvian food. Some Lomo Soltado. Some Saltado de Pile. Some- uh, other this that I'm not gonna try to pronounce because I'm gonna offend the country and then the president's gonna like straight up he's gonna kill me. <laughs> but dude, that's sick, man. I haven't flown out of the country since I was one or two. So what I'm saying is I don't remember Jack shit. That's cool, dude. Why Peru? Just, I'm just I'm just curious. That is, that's sick though. Um. But yeah, um, if you're if you're not gonna go to TwitchCon, but you you have plans and you want to like come by Cali or some shit, dude, that would be awesome. Hell's yeah, definitely would take time to hang out. Uh, I'm gonna go look for a PC or whatever uh, whatever to play games on. What's your budget, Hades? And yeah, speedy recovery on that booster. Um, good thing you didn't get your flu shot on the same day like me. Sounds good, Miss Evil. Um, I think you're out of luck with that game being game of the year. <laughs> Fallout Vegas! What do you mean think you're out of luck with that game being game of the year? But yeah, that, that's why I wanted to that's why I wanted to differentiate. If we're talking about stuff, then this is just a personal game of the year for me. If it if it didn't release, if it didn't have to release this year, oh dude, no question. It's definitely New Vegas. But if it had to have released this year, it takes two. If you guys haven't played It Takes Two, dude, it's on Game Pass. Do yourself a solid. Check it out. It's it's so good. Uh, hey Sam, what's the best Christmas song in your opinion? Your face? <laughs> Wait, what the fuck? Michael Bublé! I, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm not like super into like Christmas music, so I, 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 I don't know. Um, any recommendations from anyone here or on Discord? Ah! Uh, hold on, the dogs are, the dogs are going kind of crazy. Hold up, give me one second, I'll be right back. All right, sorry about that. Uh, Last of Last of Us Two was my best last year, and it won Game of the Year. Oh, still haven't played it yet. Um, I fucking adored Last of Us Part One, though. It means a lot. You said that for real, man. Nah, dude, for sure, bro. It's coming for the heart, bro. Feels natural to me, and I feel really calm for sure. Fuck yeah, dude. That is awesome. I've never flown out of the country ever. Oh shit. Oh shit. Damn, dude. Hey, man, I hope you have fun. Are you going by yourself? My budget is between $25 to 500 <laughs> Alright, so what you want to do is you want to go to Toys R Us and get one of those Fisher Price computers. <laughs> uh, but realistically, $550 to $1,300. I'm the wrong person to ask in terms of um, like recommendations within that budget. But I'd say posing that question in, in my Discord, specifically in the Tech Talk battle stations. Um, like post post your post your budget there and, and people may be able to give you some recommendations. If we're talking now, are you are you just looking for a pre-built PC? Are you trying to buy um, like parts separately and build them together? I don't know how much the price difference would be with like a pre-built as opposed to buying stuff separately just because graphics cards are so 
in demand right now. Well, I mean, talking about like 3070, 3080, 3090s. So yeah, I, I, I don't know. Like if you want one of those cards, I feel like you have to buy pre-built. Or I mean, you can go to eBay and then, you know, like sell your kidney and get one. I am doing three um, ayahuasca ceremonies there, staying for a little over a week. It is like those spiritual ceremonies you see in movies where a shaman gives you a drink, you hallucinate, um, meet your truth and face your inner scaries. Oh, shit, dude, that sounds intense. <laughs> Are you doing three of those ceremonies? Fuck, bro. Take some of that ayahuasca to go, bro. I'm down, dude. <laughs> I'm just at work after I drink it and I'm just like, I've made a grave mistake. I don't want to face my demons. <laughs> The correct answer was Felice Navidad, you monster! I mean, yeah, dude, all I do is Felice your dad. <laughs> it was, uh, it was 10 years ago. Also, Ingrid, what did you eat for dessert, you beauty? Did you bring enough for the chat? It was 10 years ago, Sam, that game was made. I don't think it qualifies for game of the year. Bro, are you listening to me? That's... Oh my god, dude. Clean your goddamn ears! I said... If it did, if it was a game that didn't have to have come out this year, New Vegas. If it was a game that came out in 2021, it takes two. You listening, motherfucker? I, I know what I'm getting you for Christmas. Goddamn earwax cleaner. Goddamn. Fucking Def Dan. <laughs> uh, like, even a laptop is fine. Just as long as I can enjoy playing some older games like PS2 to PS4. Oh, through, like, emulation. <laughs> Fisher Price computers! Like, what's the top of the line game you want to play on it? Yeah, if you want to just play retro stuff, I guess you don't need anything crazy, but at that point, if you're dropping over like 1300, I feel like you might as well just save up a little bit more and get like a, like a, like a, a, like a pretty solid PC that can play those older games as well as newer games. But yeah, I'm so not a tech guy, so I'm the wrong person to ask. So yeah, that's why I recommend just asking in my Discord in the Tech Talk Battle Stations. Brian, he's he's pretty good with tech. Um, Comet 1G, he's pretty good with tech. And yeah, no, nah, dude, like I, I feel like I'm missing other people. Yum, yeah, yum, yeah, fleecing your dad's on top, lol. <laughs> but dude, Sash, that's holy shit, man. That's definitely gonna be an experience, bro. Are you going by yourself, or like you you going you going with like a group? I would definitely be scared to go by myself, especially if I've never gone out of the country. Sorry, my bad, Sam. Jeez, it's late, man. It's 1 a.m. Still awake, man. Nah, it's cool. I'm just fucking with you. <laughs> but yeah, no. If, if, if yeah. It's like, strictly game of the year, meaning this year, dude, it takes two. No question. No question. But yeah, I haven't played that many games. So yeah, that's just based off of what I played. I would say PS3 maybe may even be pushing it with a $500 limit. At some Chinese glutinous rice balls, it's a common thing to eat during winter solstice. Ooh, nice. I do like rice balls. I want to play retro like Metal Gear Solid 4, God of War 1 to 3, stuff like that. $500, uh, $500 if it's able to, $1,300 if it needs more power. Yeah, I, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, I don't know about emulation. I don't really know how that... Yeah, I don't really know about that like in 2021. I, mean, I did emulation for Super Nintendo and stuff, but that was way back in the day. I want to say $1,300 will be good enough, but yeah, I'm not sure. All right, guys, let's get to it, shall we? We are starting up case number three. If you want to, if you guys want to catch up on any of the Ace, the great Ace Attorney Chronicles content, all of that is up on my YouTube and there is the there's the playlist we're completely caught up on that i'm still in the process of highlighting um new vegas um i finally got around to highlighting the forza streams and i'm still i'm, I'm almost caught up on the seven days to die stuff and granted all my vods are there so i mean all of it is there for you guys to watch but if you're interested in like one particular game i'm still catching up on those but yeah um ace attorney is all caught up so if you missed any of that shit you want to check it out click that playlist and we'll be good but yeah, Ingrid, thank you again for the 13 months and such with the 26 months. Let's play some Ace Attorney, shall we? 
Is anyone here in this chat still shopping for Christmas presents? <laughs> I'm not judging because I'm I still got a couple. I'm just not really sure what to get Let's see All right, let's let me just swap over Okay, 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 okay. Episode 3, The Adventure of the Runaway Room. Let's fucking go, chat. We're in fucking London, man! Well, I mean, we're gonna be in London, man! Any UK viewers here? I'm sorry if I'm offending your entire country. I'm trying, though! No, not to offend you, but like, you know, the accent. I'm trying, man, I'm trying. <laughs> let's go, let's go. Episode 3, The Adventure of the Runaway Room. Glancing over my records of the late last century, I am faced by the events of a certain bitter winter. A murder in a carriage as it sped through dense London fog in the dead of night. Though the victim and the perpetrator were the only ones inside, there were multiple witnesses to the crime itself. However, none could have imagined at the time that such a seemingly obvious case as this would end in such a horrendous manner. My friend, Mr. Herlock Jones, once said of the incident, I believe that perhaps that case was indeed the prelude the beginning of a long concerto that impressive Japanese student and I were to play together. Uh, amazing! Is... is this really just a railway station? Railway station or not, I've never seen such an enormous building before. <laughs> and look at all the steam locomotives. This country is incredible. <sighs> Brian's Coco. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like, like I'm dreaming. So this is the capital of Great Britain. Dude, I like his outfit, bro. Where to? Oh, hello. Climb aboard. I'll take you wherever you want to go. <laughs> In that case, um, the Supreme Court in Whitehall, if you wouldn't mind. My pleasure. I suppose you're uh, visiting students from abroad, eh? Yes. Thought so. Well then, I hope you enjoy your stay. And welcome to the centre of the world, Great Britain's mighty capital, London. We out here, fam. Does Sam have a Discord? Yes, sir. Whoa. Oh, okay, nice, Sesh. I was like, oh man, I hope you're not going alone, bro. <laughs> but dude, that's awesome, man. I hope you have a good time, bro. 
Tsusato be like, <gasps> What an incredible place! It's so imposing. It's, it's almost suffocating. This place is breathtaking. No, you're breathtaking! It looks like a fortress. There are some stone buildings like this in Japan now, of course. But but they've been, but they've only been built in the few short decades since we've opened our borders to the outside world. Rude! My immersion? Who was that? Voodoo? Welcome back. God damn it. Nice try. Take two. But they've been only built in the few short decades since we opened our borders to the outside world. <laughs> Welcome back, Voodoo. <laughs> Thanks for the video, dude. Come to meet the sexiest prosecutor, Mr. Sam Kidlet. <gasps> Sexiest prosecutor? Yes. An authentic example like this has quite a different impact. Wouldn't you agree? A far cry from the wood and paper most of our buildings are constructed from. It's certainly unfamiliar. But I think there's more to the difference. But I think there's more to the differences than just construction materials. What is this place again? This is the Lord Chief Justice's office, Naruhodo-san, in the Supreme Court, in the Supreme Court of Great Britain. The Lord Chief Justice. We had instructions to report here at this time. If circumstances were different, we were supposed to let the Lord Chief Justice know that we had arrived from Japan. Hmm. But Kazuma can't. No. Kazuma! <laughs> so instead, we are here in a different capacity. As envoys to report the news of Kazuma-sama's death. Yes. And having delivered his or her message, an envoy's duty is done. So... We'd have to return to Japan. If we want to remain here in Great Britain... I have to take Kazuma's place as the law student selected for the study tour. Yes. Which means you need the requisite qualifications as a lawyer. Which is what I've been studying for. Here in Great Britain, it is the Lord Chief Justice who appoints lawyers. So that's the second reason why we're here. To have you officially recognized as a lawyer. It's the only way that we'll be able to remain here in London. Hmm. Well... I hope I'm up to scratch. Ah! Good morning! Sorry for keeping you. Hmm? Oh, damn! Look at this motherfucker, dude! Holy shit, bro! Triple beard! <laughs> uh, oh. I trust you aren't too exhausted after your long voyage from Japan. Hmm. It seems I'm one hour, twelve minutes, and forty-seven seconds late. My apologies. Oh, no, 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 don't mention it. We're never happier than- We're never happier than when we're standing around with nothing much to do. Hmm. How fortunate. So, introductions. I am Male Strongheart, Lord Chief Justice of the British Empire. Ugh, and I feel like a little mouse under an elephant's foot. 
Come on, Mr. Naruhodo. Don't be a mouse. <laughs> oh my god, Susano. <laughs> Naruhodo! <laughs> Nobu, welcome back. Your face is breathtaking. No, you. Welcome back, Nobu. Come on, Mr. Naruhodo. Don't be a mouse. Uh, oh, um... It's it's an honor to meet you, Lord Chief Justice Strongheart. I'm Ryunosuke Naruhodo from the Empire of Japan. Well, Mr. Naruhodo. Welcome to London, the capital of our glorious British Empire. Damn, dude, I dig that outfit too. Ah, yes, thank you. So, what are your impressions of our capital so far? How do you like London? Oh, um, well, um... Help! Ah! I've been so nervous ever since I got here that I can't even... I can't remember a single thing about the city. Oh! It's simply splendid! Isn't it, Mr. Naruhodo? Oh? We had a wonderful view of some of London's streets from the carriage on the way here from the station. Everything is so... impressive and... grand! I must say, I'm almost lost for words. Susano's so cute. <laughs> I'm glad to hear you like it. The city boasts tramways, piped water and gas, even cables supplying electricity. We spearhead every revolutionary new technology in the world. Every visitor to London is astounded. Oh yes! Astounded is the word! Woo! Thanks for saving me there, Susato-san. And everyone seems so jolly and full of vigor. Yes. There's much excitement about the upcoming Great Exhibition we will be hosting here in London. Great Exhibition? Man, that was pretty cool, dude. That was pretty cool. I would have tried doing that, except it would have fallen out of my hand and probably hit some dog. And then PETA would have been called. London PETA. I, I, I don't know if they have a London equivalent. Cultural and technological achievements from around the globe are to be exhibited here in our great city. It will be the greatest spectacle of its kind in history. And will make Paris's World Fair look like a toy shop. <gasps> Gosh! I can hardly imagine how magnificent it's going to be! Great Britain's capital city is nothing but magnificent. London is the center of the modern world. Even if you do say so yourself. The sun will never set on our great empire. Perhaps it is fate that in these progressive times, we welcome visitors from the land of the rising sun. Um, Lord Chief Justice, I I think you were expecting a student of law for the study tour, weren't you? Hmm? Absolutely. A Mr. Kazuma Asogi, if my memory serves. Welcome back. Your steadfast loyalty is greatly appreciated. That's right. <gasps> Crystal! Thanks for the seven months! Hearts and hype in the chat? More shall gather. More shall enter the And fray. Voodoo, thank you very much for the host. Presto! Good to see you. How you doing? Thank you very much for seven months of support. Cheers! Mr. Sam K. Love.
NPR, welcome back. This voice acting, Mr. Sam K. Pet. <laughs> Good to see you, PR. Welcome back, you legend. I will give you a standard. I'm not dead. Insert yay sounds here. <laughs> Are you dead from the Christmas shopping? I'm doing great, Crystal. And I'm glad to hear you're doing well, too. I'm super excited to get back into some Ace Attorney. We're starting, we just started up uh, the third case. And we arrived in London. So I'm going to be giving you my best British accent that I can. And when I say I'm going to give you my best British accent I can, I mean I'm going to give you an amalgamation of accents that come in and out here and there. You know what I mean? It's like a, it's like a melting pot of nonsense. But I'm trying, so just, just not in agreement. <laughs> oh yes, guys. Happy holidays. It's almost Christmas. I need to play this game. If you like visual novels, I highly recommend it. It's awesome. Oh, finals and work. Gotcha, gotcha. Hey, Nobu. I don't know if you have like one or two left, but yo, dude, home stretch. Hopefully you get a break soon. Hankasm, Hankasm. Yargasm, PR. <laughs> yeah, thanks for being here, guys. Welcome on back. I think you were expecting a student of law for the study tour, weren't you? Absolutely. A Mr. Kazuma Asogi, of my memory serves. That's right. The British government has already been telegraphed a full report on the situation. I understand the young man lost his life aboard the steamship bound for our shores. Oh, that, that's amazing. The news reached him before we even arrived. My country naturally extends its deepest condolences to yours. Oh, um... Thank you. And you honored this appointment specifically to inform me of the news. Yes. We are here in the capacity of envoys from Japan to report the sad news in person. They tell me you Japanese are a people of protocol and courtesy. And I see that it's true. And it is with some regret that I must inform you... ...that the death of the young lawyer means this study tour arrangement can no longer proceed. If you would just hear us out, Lord Strongheart. What do you have to say, madam? It's... It's about the study tour. Mr. Naruhoto here would like to make a proposal. Hmm. Would he now? Well, Mr. Naruhoto. This is it, then. The moment of truth. The, the thing is, Lord Justice, uh, um, Lord Strongheart, I was wondering if perhaps you would consider allowing the study tour to go ahead. D don't misunderstand me. Britain would ideally like to see the tour go ahead. But without a lawyer from your country, there's... <laughs> there's nothing to be done. Well... In that case... What if there was... Someone else? A another lawyer from Japan, I mean. Hmm? <laughs> he, just got, he just has to add in that Toro, bro. Strike gangster. Is there something I don't know? Um... Only a single lawyer was invited to Great Britain from your country. And that was Mr. Asogi. At, at least that is what I've been led to understand. Well, um... The thing is... This really isn't going well at all. 
can't seem to find the right words to say to this man, because he's so goddamn hot! Mr. Naruhodo! No, God, please, no! <laughs> no! 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 Hold on, let me catch up with chat. I finished them, but oh boy, that was a lot of nonsense. I'm glad you're done, though. We already got Arnold Russian. I want to see what else you have in your pot. Mr. Sam K. Lul. <laughs> and Vega from like the trailers that I've seen when you're actually in like the courtroom in London. There's so many more people. So uh, I'm going to have to pull something out of my ass. <laughs> the background is so cool. It is. Since I played It Takes Two earlier this year, it reminds me of the, uh, the clock tower level. Nemo, welcome back to the stream! Cheers! <laughs> Tired. Starting training for a new position at work, so I've been waking up at 6.30 a.m. to make sure I'm up, showered, and getting there. Oh, New position? Same, like, same company, though? Hopefully you're getting more of that cheddar, I mean... Yeah, thanks for the 50 bits, dude. I must go to bed, my dude. Have a great rest of your stream. Hey, hey, hey don't, don't worry about answering that question. We can always talk about it later. Still at Chase. Gotcha, gotcha. I, well, hey, man, I hope, if anything, this was a, a promotion instead of something that you were forced into. Working in the social media team. Oh, damn, dude. That, yeah, I can imagine how mentally exhausting that must be <laughs> and draining. But yeah, Voodoo, thank you very much for popping in. Thank you very much for the bits as well as wishing me a great stream. You have yourself a great rest and a good day tomorrow. And if I don't see you by the end of the week, Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays, bro. Much love, dude. Hi, Sam. What up, Nemo? How you doing, baby? Thanks for tuning in. Welcome on back to that story image. Mr. Naruhodo! <sighs> I could ruin things here if I'm not careful. What am I gonna say? If there is someone else here from Japan who could be described as a lawyer, it's... <laughs> Actually, there's no one! <laughs> Stream's over, guys! <laughs> It's Miss Susato. Hold on. Can I save right here? I just want to save. Just so we I got to see the responses, bro. <laughs> oh. oh, man. I got I got her. It's, it's obviously me, you know, since we've been studying on the on the ship uh, until we got here. But yeah, dude, I, I got to hear some of these responses. You will see him on Friday. Did watch you eat that ramen, my dude. Sounds good, bro. Uh, no, no, it is this Friday, 8 p.m. Pacific. And yeah, you, you can either check my schedule page on my, tw on my, you can either check the, the schedule section on my Twitch page or uh, under the events on my Discord. They're both there. Jather, welcome back, dude. How you doing, bro? Cheers. Bing. Thanks for tuning in, homie. I'm good. Just uh, finished doing some editing. Nice, nice, nice. I'm gonna kick it here. You know you're always welcome. No! <laughs> Law School Simulator alive! Mr. Sam K. Hey, Mr. Sam K. Mr. Sam K. Hi, Mr. Sam K. Ray. Yes, yes, sir, baby. We back in the ace. It's Cheers, bro. Eek. Look at all these legends stepping on in. Look at all these legends. All right, hold up. Let me crack open my beverage real quick. Cheese, cheese. There is someone else here from Japan who could be described as a lawyer. It's actually there's no one. It's only been 40 days since Kazuma died.
And yes, I've studied as hard as I... And yes, I've studied as hard as I possibly could. But can I really stand before this terrifying man and claim that I can do the job? Sorry, I... I, I, I don't know what I was thinking. Uh, of course, only one lawyer. Oh man, Susato, she don't look too happy. Like, bitch, what the fuck? What was all that studying for, you goddamn pussy? <sighs> but I'm not sure if I can stand before this terrifying woman and claim that I can. I'll end up upside down on the floor if I do that with the goddamn Susato slam. Not that I'm scared of a Susato takedown, obviously, but still. Perhaps I should change my answer. Sorry about that. I thought I heard something. But how you doing, Mr. Karaseya, bruh? Third chapter? Yep. Third case. It's chapter case, but yeah. Uh, by the way, you already done with Ace Attorney giveaway? Yes. Yes, Vega. Um, but you know what? I think I- I think I'm still sitting on an extra copy. So I, um, let me get back to you on that because, uh, hold on, let me see, let me see, let me check my Discord real quick. Da, 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 let's see. Ba, ba, da, da, da. Yeah, I am, I am. So yeah, Hades won the giveaway, but he doesn't have Steam, and so he entered into it by accident. So I gifted him a Switch copy, and then I gave the PC one that I was originally going to give to Hades to Nattles. So yeah, um, that one is done. I wasn't. Yeah, I thought I was like maybe I have an extra one, but yeah, I do not. Who's the killer this time? <laughs> Go stab! I know, right? We got to find out. Sato's like, I'm about to commit a murder myself. I know. <laughs> She looks pissed. Current giveaways, Xbox Series S, right? Yep. You, and you can buy raffle tickets with that. Uh, using your channel points. Um, but yeah, Vega. In terms of other giveaways, uh, if you haven't reacted already in my Discord, exclamation point Discord, um, I'm giving out $10, $10 Steam gift cards, so you can definitely react to that. I'm also giving out random Steam keys in the regular giveaways channel. And, uh, yeah, the Series S is only for people in the States, or the U.S. I'm gonna head out and take a hot bath. I'm gonna uh, pour myself a cold ass gin and tonic while I sit in the water. Sounds good, Hades. You'll better soon, man. Thanks for hanging out, dude. Not that I'm scared of his Usado takedown, obviously, but... Still, perhaps I should change my answer. It's me. I can do it. Oh man, hold on. Let me <laughs> let me load back and let's let's uh, let's say it's Susado. I want I want to hear what she says because it looks like it automatically just it continues on. If there is someone else here from Japan who could be described as a lawyer. It's it's Miss Susado. It can probably only be. Yes, Miss Susato. Hmm. <gasps> An unusual introduction. But I presume you mean this charming lady beside you. You're a lawyer, are you? Uh, Nanda. <laughs> Her face is so blank like... 
Bitch, you what? <laughs> that look she's giving me. <laughs> After all the days of hard work she put in to help me study. I can't let her down now! <laughs> I, I think that's quite enough joking. Don't you, Lord Strongheart? My real answer is... It's me! I can do it! <laughs> she had that RBF dude resting bitch face. <laughs> mm. We just got to London and um, we were going to give the news to the Lord Chief Justice that uh, Kazuma Sama that he died, but he already knew about it. So what we're trying to tell him now is that we want to be the lawyer to replace him on this study tour. OK, thank you. Yeah, no problem. Sounds good, Hades. No, me too, Nobu. Kazuma was pretty... He was pretty... He was pretty G. Hmm. Is that so? I... I mean, I don't actually have any qualifications as such, but... No qualifications, you say? And yet you still claim to be a lawyer. I... I have acted as a lawyer in court before. Only once, as it happens. And I had Kazuma to help me, and I was the accused. But glossing over the details. Hmm. I've been spending every spare moment on the journey here to Great Britain studying. I've learned all about British law and court proceedings while I was on board the SS Burya. He has a pocket watch? Fuck, bro. Anyone in the chat have a pocket watch? I kind of want one now after seeing what he just did. I'm like, that looks pretty cool. Maybe, do they have smart pocket watches? <laughs> <laughs> the voyage from Japan is some 50 days, I believe. Not what you might call a full education. To become a qualified lawyer here in Britain, not only do you need a university degree in law, you must also complete several years of training. I, I realize it's far too short a period of time, but... I can't just go back to Japan. Hmm. Kazuma... Mr. Asogi's journey had only just begun. Coming here on the study tour was all he thought about. I have to carry on and do everything he planned to do. Hmm. I know it must sound like I have an overly inflated opinion of myself, but I would do anything to prove that I have what it takes. Any test you care to set me- Just one chance. That's all I'm asking for. Please. Hmm. 31 seconds. Uh... Sorry? Your opening statement there, Mr. Narahodo, it was 31 seconds long. Not too brief. Not too protracted. A perfectly judged appeal, I would say. Which is a skill that would stand you in good stead as a lawyer. Oh. Thanks. So, you're willing to put those words to trial, are you? Well, I'm all for entertainment. Huh? But, let me ask you one thing first, sir. Y y yes? You say you intend to do everything Mr. Asogi planned to do. Are you firmly set on that path? Well, yes. 
that's my intention. I see. Am I imagining things? Or did his expression just alter a fraction there all of a sudden? Very well. You have your wish. I'll give you a chance. A test to become a specially certified lawyer. Whether you pass or fail is entirely down to you. Really? Ah, shit! He's giving us a chance! Woman can't be a lawyer in Japan, Naruhoto! Get your shit together, Mr. Sakurai! <laughs> Women can't be lawyers slash attorneys in Japan? <gasps> in the time period this game is set in? Nope, they can't. Mm. I actually have one, but I need to get the batteries replaced. You do, Nobu? I'm jealous, bro. After seeing this guy, I'm like, damn, dude. Maybe that'll be my own Christmas present to myself. I got myself a pocket watch. Well, I mean... <laughs> I feel like this iPhone was like my Christmas present to myself, but dude... I want a pocket watch, dude. <laughs> this guy is selling it. I still have my- I still have my replica Full Metal Alchemist pocket watch? Pog! No way! Dude, foot long. Share that in my Discord, bro, in the Pix channel. Let me see! That's cool! How much was it? Sure they can, Vega. We just gotta re the game! <laughs> Uh, yeah, 18, or yeah, around 19th century. This guy has some real menacing aura about him, doesn't he, Nazasu? And he also has a real sexy aura about him. I'm like, God damn! Of course they can. I'm talking about this game. Never mind, I looked it up. It's a Zelda pocket watch, and I love it. Oh my god. Nobu, share that in my Discord too. I want to see. I will let me find it. Sounds good. Sounds good. That's cool. It's cool. Some of you guys got pocket watches. That's, that's cool, dude. I want one, bro. What's the test, baby? So, what form will the test take exactly? Tell me, Mr. Narahodo, what do you consider the role of a lawyer to be? Well, defending people, of course. <laughs> well said. So, let's have you defend someone. Uh, huh? Just a quick FYI to my non-subs, I do have an ad break coming in three minutes. Your timing is perfect, in fact. There's an apt trial about to begin later today. No advocate has been appointed for the defense as yet. So, this will be welcome news. T t today Straight away? <gasps> if you manage to secure a verdict of not guilty, you'll have passed my test. What could be simpler? <sighs> How do I get myself into these situations? Well, could I ask what sort of trial is it, Lord Strongheart? Hmm. Yes. Good question. Ah. I remember. It's a murder trial. Oh, great! We can never escape from murder! God damn it! I'm fucking magnetizing this shit! Even when I'm in a different country! Room out slam! A murder? Not me! An extremely simple case, I understand. You really can't lose. Well, that's easy to say. But I should mention just in case. 
If the defendant is found guilty, he will of course be sentenced to capital punishment. C capital punishment? Uh, he'll... He'll be put to death? Here in Great Britain, murderers are sent to the gallows without exception. Presumably, you read that much in your short sea-based introduction to British law. We... We can't possibly agree to such a test. We would be toying with the man's life. I am the Lord Chief Justice, and I've decided it's acceptable. But, but, you, you can't do that. Can you? There's no need to overcomplicate this. All you have to do is ensure that you don't lose. <gasps> okay, for sure. So. <laughs> Lord Strongheart! Oh my god! Um, so the defendant may live or die depending on how well I perform in court? If, if I lose? He'll be hanged. Lul. Mr. Naruhodo! You've come to me claiming to be a lawyer. I, I... If you want me to take you seriously, you need to prove you're willing to do a lawyer's job. And you say you intend to see through the will of your compatriot, Mr. Asogi. I would like to understand just how far you're willing to go in order to make that happen. He's testing my resolve. <laughs> What's the matter? <laughs> You've fallen silent. Nice try, Xavier. <laughs> Welcome back, dude. Thanks for the 50. I'm sorry, but time is pressing. The trial begins shortly. I need an answer from you now. What's it to be? <sighs> oh, what do I say? Do I agree to this absurd test? Once again, I just want to see. <laughs> Let's save right here. <laughs> what happens if I say no? Ad coming in three seconds, my non-subs. FYI. I want to get the batteries replaced to use at work to confuse everyone. <laughs> Do people still carry pocket watches? I would think as an as uh, I would think an old person would wear one in his pocket. Hey man, if that makes me old, then fuck it, dude. I'm down. Pocket watches are badass. I really hope there's like smart pocket watches. <laughs> That'd be sick. But if not, dude, fuck. Now I really want one. Goddamn you, strong heart. Imagine someone asks you for time and you just whip out a, a pocket watch. I know, right? I, I, excuse me, do you have the time? Three, 3.45 on the dot. Sherlock Holmes? Who this? Why can't we just be a civil case lawyer? <laughs> now that's a yikes. Just don't lose forehead. <laughs> <laughs> How you doing, Xavier? Welcome back, D. Imagine if he says no and he gets hit in the face with a cane. <laughs> smart pocket watch? You mean a fucking phone? No! They have smart watches! Give me a smart pocket watch! I would wear that every day! Come on, don't you guys have phones? <laughs> okay. I won't do it! Alright then. 
If I have to give you a decision now, I just... I just... I, I, I can't do it! I, I can't get the words out! Ugh. 15 seconds. Hmm. Your decision-making needs work if you want to be a lawyer. That was too slow. So, it's as suspected. So, it's as I suspected. So, it's as I suspected, is it? Sorry? You have noble intentions, but lack the resolve to see them through. The test is cancelled. Thank you for stopping by. Go and acquire your ticket for passage back to the east tomorrow. This conversation is over. Uh, uh, yes, Lord Strongheart. Thank you for offering me a chance. Mr. Narahodo. I'm... I'm sorry, Mrs. Sato, but what could I do? It's all right. I understand. You a pussy! <laughs> <laughs> you do? It's not an easy decision to choose whether to defend a man in these circumstances. But Resolve has absolutely nothing to do with it! What are you trying to say, madam? Uh, I, I think what Miss Susato means... ...is that no matter how badly I like to be recognized as a lawyer and stay here in Great Britain... ...to risk another man's life by treating his one and only chance at a trial so trivially? would be utterly unforgivable. And I feel exactly the same way. Hmm. <laughs> I'm sure the defendant won't see this trial as a test, as some kind of experiment. <laughs> a lawyer may fight for his clients in court day after day, but for each one of those clients, the particular day they stand in the dock may be the only chance they have to fight to prove their innocence. No. I was wrong. I'm not qualified to do that job yet. I'm sorry for wasting your precious time, Lord Chief Justice. Wait! Mr. Narahodo. Oh, what was there something else? It's approximately 20 minutes by carriage to the Old Bailey from here. If you leave immediately, you should still be there in time. B but I just said that. I was quite serious in what I told you. The defendant in this case has literally no one to advocate for him. What? At this point, he can't hope to find someone to represent him. The trial will begin without a defense. And if that happens, there's only one possible outcome. He will receive the most severe sentence the judge can pass down. But that's awful. But that is the truth. Why does it have to be like this? Not like this. Not like duck. Please don't expect an answer to every question. Huh? <laughs> She's like, bitch! The cold, hard truth of the matter is that there is only one person now with a chance to save this man from a very miserable end. 
And that is you. I... I'm really his only hope? So... What do you say now, madam? <laughs> Me? What do you mean, Lord Strongheart? You said it wasn't an easy decision to choose whether to defend a man in these circumstances, and I agree. But in my estimation, it is purely and simply a matter of resolve. Oh! Our time is up here. I have a meeting to attend. I must leave in 2 minutes and 16 seconds. So! Venture into our great city and enjoy yourselves. He's gone. Hmm. The old Bailey. If we're going to do this, Mr. Narhoto, we must leave at once. Just tie a chain to your wristwatch, and there you go! <laughs> ah, okay, well, thanks for looking it up. <laughs> Alright, I don't want to get it if it's ugly. Let's see, let's examine. I just wanna, yeah, let's, let's just examine a little bit, I mean. Susano, can I just ask you something? I'm about to get that Susano takedown, bro. Put, put, your, put your hand down. Careful. From this position, I can perform a Susano takedown in an instant. <laughs> She's so cute. Oh my god. <laughs> I know. You've only done it to me like five times, bruh. Mr. Narahodo, you heard Lord, Lord Strongheart. The trial starts imminently. If I need to throw you, I will. <laughs> you know? <laughs> nice try, Xavier. Thanks to the 50. <laughs> this motherfucker dude trying to get me off guard, bro. I'm in the moment, bro. I'm in my flow state, baby. You ain't got shit on me. You know, you could just say, I think we should hurry to the courtroom. If you need to ask me anything, it had better wait until we're at the Old Bailey. All right, all right, all right, all right. Fine, fine, proceeds to look around and, ah, oh, no, I can't ask anything else, bro. They all have check marks. <laughs> let, let me... <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me just try this. Mr. Sato, can I just... <laughs> <laughs> oh no, she she just says the same thing. Okay. Alright, alright. Fine, fine, fine. <laughs> she gonna give me the goddamn smackdown. Okay, alright, alright. Let's go, let's go, let's go. What to do? Mr. Sato, can I just <laughs> It's for science, guys. I had to just make sure we exercise all of our conversation options. <laughs> She's like, bitch, motherfucker, fuck you. Ah! <laughs> Sam, are you gonna play the second game from this series? Hells yes, Vega. 100%. That pose, that kawaii karate, I know, dude. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. We're, we're going. Okay, Susana, we're going, we're going. Don't give me the Susaro takedown. <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's go. Good morning, Foxy. Welcome back to the stream. Ah, uh, no problem, Footlong. It's all good. <laughs> Thanks, anyways. But definitely, Vega. I adore this game. 18th February. 
10.45 a.m. The Old Bailey, Defendant's Antechamber. Oh, thank goodness! We're in time! There's still 15 minutes until the trial begins. I never knew a horse-drawn carriage could go so fast. I thought my teeth were gonna rattle loose. Did you hear what I said to the driver when we climbed aboard? <laughs> Get us to our destination in 15 minutes, driver. And there's a guinea in it for you. It's one of my favorite lines from the Herlock Sholm stories. And it worked out quite perfectly. I'm not sure why you're so pleased. I thought we were gonna die. And we had to pay gold for the privilege? Well... At least we arrived here before the trial started. <laughs> yes, I... I suppose there's that. Anyway, I don't understand it. The court clerk said the defendant should be here, but there's no sign of him at all. So, this is the old Bailey. Even this room for defendants to wait is in... Even this room for defendants to wait in is grand. Are you alright, Mr. Narhoto? I'm... I'm feeling tense, that's all. This place gives me the same sense of foreboding that I remember from the Supreme Court in Japan. An oppressive air. Almost as if the building itself is gonna crush whoever's about to be sentenced. It feels like only yesterday that I was the one about to be crushed. Yes, whoever the man you're to- Yes, whoever the man you're to defend is, I imagine he's feeling very alone at this moment. Top of the morning to you, madam. Sir? <gasps> <laughs> What are you doing following me here? Things are fair desperate, are they? Oh my god, this suit. Anthony, welcome back to the stream, dude! Cheers, man! Ding. Gonna head to bed. Have a fun stream, Sam! And good one, everyone! Good night, Ingrid! Thanks for hanging out! And thank you again for the resub! Sleep well! I found it already. Posting a pic. Sounds good. I will look after the stream. All good, all good, Foxy. I started up about like 10 minutes late, so it's all good. We, we haven't even started the trial. It's about to go down right now. That hat, I know, right? <laughs> the hair, everything. What are you doing following me here? Things are fair desperate, are they? S sorry? Would you look at those expressionless faces? From the East, are you? Um, we're from Japan, yes. Ah, Japan is it? Right. Say no more. Oh my god, he's got like infinity stones. Did you see that? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking ring pop looking ass. So, how much do you need? N no, 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 we're just here because... No need to explain, fella. I've been there myself, so I have. No place to go, nothing to eat, barely a penny to your name, and all while in a strange, faraway land. <laughs> that expression! <laughs> well, actually, we haven't found a place to stay yet, no. Tis grand, tis grand. Let me start by giving you a thousand guineas. Say nothing now. <laughs> a, a, a thousand guineas? Please, Mr. Sato, you don't have to shout. But a thousand guineas is... is enough to build an entire mansion in the most prestigious area of Tokyo. <laughs> what? Is nothing to me at all! 
I like to ensure I have sufficient funds to weather a rainy day, you see. I have enough wealth to buy the city of London two or three times over, hehe. <laughs> Could that much rain even fall in one day? Well, e even so, we couldn't possibly accept such a large sum of money. Uh, ow! Ow! Fuck! That hit me in the eye! Don't, don't get me wrong, fella. I'm not giving it to you, no strings attached. I'll be wanting you to do something for me. Oh? <laughs> to be honest, it is a little embarrassing. The trial that's about to begin, you see, is for me good self here. I'll be in the dock. Uh, huh? So, so now, what I want you to do is come along with me and stand there beside me. Officially, you'd be my lawyer, but that's just a little detail now. Oh, well, the, the thing is... Don't worry about a thing. All you have to do is stand up there next to me. Nothing more. Otherwise, you see... But... The trial is going to start without me having any kind of rep representation at all! So it was true. The Lord Chief Justice wasn't just making it all up. Um, I'm terribly sorry to have to ask, but... Does that mean you're the defendant in this trial? Blustering blazes! Do yous? Do yous not know who I am? Me! One of London's biggest names! N no. S sorry, we've only just arrived in the city, you see. Hmm. I see. I suppose it isn't altogether impossible. Just next to Hyde Park there in the center of London is another beautiful park. Sorry, a, a park? What? It is called Mick Gilded Park, full of blossoming flowers in the spring and singing birds and whatnot. I donated it to the city, so I did. An, an entire park? In central London? A city of smiles. That's my vision for London. <laughs> There's nothing Magnus McGilded wouldn't do for the city and its queer old people. That's <laughs> amazing. I mean, really extraordinary. Ah, but now they've the gall to say I'm a good for nothing criminal. Me! Magnus McGilded! What is the matter with the London police, I ask you? <laughs> All right, d d don't pass out. <laughs> I like this guy, dude. <laughs> Adrian, welcome back, dude! I've never seen anything about this game except memes, dude. It's good. If you like visual novels, this shit's solid. Guy looks like Penguin or something. I know, doesn't he, bro? <laughs> uh, an armband, an armband I inherited from Kazuma. It identifies the wearer as a defense lawyer throughout the Empire of Japan. These are the scales of justice. They're a symbol of the defense, aren't they? Yes, that's right. The scales are a symbol of fairness, to show that all are treated equally in the eyes of the law. And they're a warning to those who enter the courtroom without an, without an impartial mind. But if they're the mark of the defense, it would be more auspicious if they were weighing more heavily on the not guilty side, I think. Hmm. Very impartial, I'm sure.
The lawyer's name is embroidered on the inside here, look. Kazuma Asogi. This was his band, of course. He had his heart set on this study tour in Great Britain. I'm sure he would have found the truth he longed for here. But he lost his life before he even had the chance to see the place. I have such a strong sense of his hopes and dreams when I look at this armband, though. Oh. I was like, huh? I was in the middle of a conversation. I wonder why I'm looking at the court record. I think I just hit the button by mistake. How you doing, Adrian? Welcome back, dude. Looks like an enemy stand user. <laughs> All right. Don't pass out. Mr. Narahodo? Perhaps now would be a good time to introduce ourselves while the gentleman catches his breath? It, good idea. Ha! 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 Um, Mr. McGill, the, the thing is... We're actually here in London to study British law. We're law students on a study tour from Japan, you see. So, if you don't have a lawyer for the trial yet, and you'd be happy to put yourself in our hands... What? What was I, uh, what was I after saying? You daft Egypt! I've given you a thousand guineas to stand up there next to me, haven't I? Well, yes, but I wasn't really offering to just stand up there next to you. <laughs> oh! I think I see what's going on here. Sorry? I know what you're thinking. Tis... This chancer of a fella claims to have more money than the queen. But if that's true, why the blazes can't he hire the finest lawyer in all of England? Because he did it! That's the only explanation! <laughs> Well? Um, well... E exactly! Yes, exactly! What now? Well, like you said, if you have all that money but you don't have anyone to represent you in court, there's no other logical conclusion than that you're guilty of the charges. Call a spade a spade in the east, so do you do. Oh, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I... I didn't mean any offense. I still can't express myself very well in English, you see. And I'm never sure what's acceptable to say and what isn't, so... Is that so? Because you sounded fluent enough when you were telling me what a black guard I must be. Uh, um... I'm- I'm terribly sorry. What? <laughs> I can't say that I blame you for thinking it, fella. It, it- It is a little strange, to be honest. Why you don't have a lawyer, I mean. Hmm. That would be the fault of the Reaper. S sorry? Did he just say- Reaper? Aye! The Grim Reaper of the Bailey! Lord Barak Van Zeeks! He's the prosecutor. The prosecutor? Is the Grim Reaper? Nani! When Van Zeeks stands for the prosecution, they call the accused is sacrificial lambs. But... And to this day, 
in every single trial in which he's been the prosecutor, the accused has been damned! What? So, it's reached the desperate situation where there's no one willing to stand in defense against the fella at all. You could say he's a living legend of the old Bailey. Goodness, Lord Beric Van Zeeks. He must be an exceptionally talented prosecutor then. Mm. Talented isn't the word you're looking for, madam. It's cursed. C cursed? What on earth? The defendant is summoned and his counsel. Please make your way into the courtroom. The trial is about to begin. It is counsel? Th that would be me. Oh, it is time. Well then, fella. Don't let me down. But, uh, but I don't know anything about the case. You haven't told me what happened. Hmm. Until you showed your face here. I'd made up me mind, so I had. Sorry? I decided I'd have to defend myself in there. How would that have worked? But then you made an appearance. A student of law, wouldn't you know? Tis no accident, I can assure you of that. Tis fate. So don't get cold feet now, please. know nothing about the case or about this man who stands accused. In fact, the only thing I do know is that I can't just turn my back on him. Welcome back, Comet! Mr. Narahodo. The, the man has no one. You'll have to stand alone in that courtroom, armed with nothing to defend himself. Yes. Something that Cosma would never have allowed to happen. <gasps> Counsel for the defense, what are you doing? If you're late for the start of the trial, you will lose your right to stand. I'll be right there. Oh, shit. It's happening then. My first trial in a British court. I hope you're watching over me, Kazuma. Because I have no idea how I'm going to manage this. He does look like he is from Jojo, doesn't he? <laughs> I've never seen it. But I know what show you're talking about. <gasps> We're here. Bruh. 18th February, 10 a.m. The Old Bailey Courtroom. Oh, shit. Oh, damn. So this is the highest court in Great Britain. The Old Bailey. The centuries of history in this place is palpable, isn't it? It's so different to the Supreme Court in Japan. Cheers, Gummit. How you doing, man? It feels both imposing and serene at the same time. The atmosphere almost makes words redundant. Whatever the country, determining a person's guilt or innocence is always a solemn affair. May I say something, Mr. Naruhodo? Oh, 
Yes. What? <laughs> I look so terrified. Your eyes look ready to pop out of your head again. <laughs> <laughs> you kind of look like Oprah Winfrey. <laughs> I, I know, but I, I just can't help it. In the name of Her Majesty the Queen, I hereby declare this court to be in session. We are here today to determine the guilt or innocence of Mr. Magnus McGilded. I now call upon the counsels for the prosecution and defense to declare their willingness to proceed. The prosecution is fully prepared. must be the Reaper of the Bailey. He really does look fully prepared to dispatch his next poor victim to the underworld. Counsel for the defense, you appear to be Eastern. Do you speak English? Uh, huh? Uh, oh, yes, uh, of course. S sorry. But he asked if the defense was ready. And I couldn't be further from ready if I tried. <laughs> Those eyes please me, Nipponese. Uh, uh. They shroud your fear, no doubt. Your trepidation. They run wild, clinging to some phantom notion of courage. The quintessential look of a sacrificial lamb. A cold shiver just ran down my spine all the way to the tips of my toes! Now, Mr. McGilded. Yes, Milan. You stand accused of murder, a capital offense. You could be sent to the gallows if found guilty. Are you quite sure you wish to entrust your defense to this foreigner? As I've always said, my lord, tis a grand thing to give opportunities to the young. Even if the fella is a student from some little island off in the Far East. Is it not the British way to ignore the dangers to yourself and give those less fortunate a fair chance? I'd like to think that acts of chivalry do the great British Empire proud. Listen to Mr. McGilded. What a fine gentleman London has. Did you hear he donated 5,000 pounds to the government the other day? Rabble, 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 rabble. Mother, please, Mr. Bloomy, go play in Mr. McGilded's. It seems as though everyone in the public gallery is firmly behind Mr. McGilded. <laughs> Van Zeeks! What a goddamn sexy beast. Smack him on the back while standing like that. See how far you can get on it. <laughs> to get the eyes to pop out of their sockets. You have not seen the murder or investigated the murder or have any clues. How can you be in the courtroom already? Yeah, dude, we're literally just thrown in. Van Zeeks? Daddy? Sorry? Daddy? Sorry? Daddy? <laughs> Yeah, dude, we're literally just being thrown right in. It seems as though everyone in the public gallery is firmly behind Mr. McGilded. Well, that's definitely welcome news. And he certainly has a way with words. I'm surprised you couldn't convince anyone to defend him. Eloquently put, Mr. McGilded, and most laudable sentiments. Now. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, I'm sure I, I'm sure I need hardly remind you that you six members of the public have been selected for your impartiality. Are you ready to proceed? Yes, my lord. If the task is to send rotters to the gallows where they belong, I'm more than ready. 
At the manor, his lordship always says we should dispose of rubbish promptly. Naturally, I agree. <laughs> Any criminals here will soon be wishing they never set eyes on me. <laughs> oh my god, these outfits. <laughs> I feel a chill. Oh, don't mind me, my dears. I'll just be getting on with my knitting. <laughs> Must finish these mitts for my grandson. What the fuck? <laughs> ah, Mr. Naruhoto, those people are... The jury. Yes, that's something we don't have in Japan yet. That's right. I've only ever read about it. But here in Great Britain, the court's final verdict depends on the opinions of these six jurors. The judge passes sentence according to the law, but the jurors determine guilt based on common sense. So the defendant is ultimately judged from two completely different points of view. But how exactly do the jurors give their verdict? That, I don't know, but I'm sure it will become clear as the trial progresses. Yes. Prosecutor Van Zeeks. Hmm, my lord. It's been a number of years since we've seen you here in the courtroom. I thought you'd renounce your fame. I'm known as the Reaper of the Bailey, my lord. Infamy rather than fame, I would say. But yes, five years have passed since I last spread my wings in this capacity. So, what brings you back? Is there some change of circumstance of which the court should be aware? Hmm. I leave that to your imagination, my lord. So the Reaper has been out of action for five years? Why did he have to choose today of all days to make a comeback? Don't lose heart, Mr. Naruhoto! <laughs> As you wish, sir. The court nevertheless welcomes your return. Now then, opening statements, I think. A summary of the case, if you please. Certainly, my lord. As your lordship is aware, this is a case of overwhelming simplicity. We must be the only ones in here who aren't aware. The incident took place in the late evening, three days past. The hour was some minutes after ten. The victim was a maker of building bricks known in the community as Thrice Fired Mason. S sorry Thrice? He was a very accomplished craftsman. The bricks he fired were said to be almost indestructible. The victim's corpse was discovered in an um The victim's corpse was discovered in an omnibus in service of the streets of London at the time. A dagger that had been thrust into the victim's abdomen is believed to be the ultimate cause of death. Here is the autopsy report from the investigating medical officer at Scotland Yard. Thank you, counsel. I shall accept that and the photograph as evidence. The autopsy report has been entered into the court record. A report prepared by the Scotland Yard coroner. Coroner. It gives the cause of death as internal hemorrhaging as a result of a single stab wound to the abdomen. No, dude, nice foxy. What a steal. The 
photograph of the crime scene has been entered into the court record. A photograph of the victim taken on the omnibus. The knife in his abdomen is clearly visible, but his face is partly obscured from view by an old crooked hat. And one further item of evidence. The prosecution wishes to submit these as well. And these are... Good Lord! Is that blood, Council? Yes, my lord. Seized by a policeman who arrived at the scene. These gore-soaked gloves were taken from the hands of the accused when he was arrested. W what? Mr. McGilded, Mr. McGilded's gloves had blood on them? Yes, I will accept these as evidence as well. The defendant's leather gloves have been entered into the court record. The leather gloves the defendant was wearing at the time of the incident. There is a blood stain on the right glove. Oh, great. How did I get into this? I'm backed into a corner before I've even started! Continuing. According to the driver of the omnibus, there were only two passengers traveling inside his vehicle at the time. O on only two? Obviously, one of those passengers was the deceased brickmaker, Mr. Mason. The other... ...was the accused, Magnus McGilded. Hmm. Well, rather damning circumstances to the say the least. Defendant. What say you? <laughs> well, of course, I have no recollection of such a thing. Mr. McGilded. To be sure, I rode the omnibus that evening. But whenever I'm in a carriage, I'm taken with a fierce tiredness, and I always succumb to it. Are you claiming to have been asleep? The motion of the carriage, my lord. Lil, lit, uh, lil, lil tin, so it is. And when I open my eyes again, it was a desperate sight before me. The body of a man I'd never laid eyes on before in my life. Hmm. Now I ask you, what good hearted soul wouldn't rush to help a fellow bleeding from his stomach? I wasn't about to start worrying about me gloves now, was I? I reached out to give the man a hand. So the blood got onto the gloves then, after the man had been killed. Unfortunately, that statement of the driver's is only the beginning. What? That's not all of it? There were multiple witnesses to the precise moment at which the brickmaker was fatally stabbed. Order! 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 When the killing took place, only the victim and the accused were inside the carriage, and there were witnesses to the crime. This is not just a case of compelling evidence. It's the nail in the coffin for the accused. Uh. Hmm. Thank you, Counsel. The circumstances of the crime have been made quite clear. I think we will hear testimony from these witnesses, first of all. Your wish is my command. Bailiff! Bring the witnesses in at once. 
Aw, oh, shit. Anime gasping noises! <gasps> <gasps> I do, Vega. <laughs> Witnesses, your names and occupations. My, my, my name is, well, everyone calls me Beppo. I, I, I drive an omnibus in the East End. Bruce, fair play. I'm a banker in the city. My name is First, Lady First. I, um, make hats for gents. Let's begin by confirming the facts. Three days ago, at a short time after 10 o'clock in the evening, all of you present, all of you present in the stand were in, were in an omnibus and witness to the aforementioned incident. Is that correct? Y y y yes sir Quite right. Yes, sir, that's right. Very well then. Let's proceed to your formal testimonies, please. Each of you will tell the court precisely what you saw. Witness testimony. What the witness saw. It... it... it was the last bus of the evening, so I had few customers. I remember it well. The victim and the man accused of killing him were sat next to each other inside the bus. Then out of the blue, the accused just reached over and plunged a knife right into his guts. That, that, that's right, he, he, he stabbed him. I, I screamed I did, could, could, couldn't help it. As, as soon as I heard the scream, I stopped my bus and, and then I saw it too. Hmm. Unambiguous testimony, I must say. Exactly, my lord. These men witnessed the incident in the omnibus with their own eyes. Hmm. Um, I I'd like to ask a question, if I may. Yes, counsel. Well... This testimony makes absolutely no sense to me whatsoever. <laughs> Why not? Well, the incident... Well, the incident took place inside a moving carriage, didn't it? As has been clearly stated from the outset, yes. Well, in that case... How could those two witnesses possibly have seen what happened? There's no way they could have seen the inside of the moving carriage. <laughs> How quaint. I'd read that civilization in the Eastern Island nations was a good century behind our own. But you're here in London yourself. Are you really so ignorant about our omnibuses? Uh, huh? Tell me, my Nipponese friend. Have you even traveled in an omnibus? Uh... Well... No. We only arrived... We um, only in arrived in London this morning. <laughs> no matter. I've arranged for us all to see for ourselves. The actual scene of the crime, that is. What do you mean? The actual scene? How? A carriage is designed to be moved after all. Presumably, you understand that much. Uh, um, yes. So, Jojo attorneys! <laughs> The omnibus in which this bloody crime took place is here today, in this very building. Here? 
What? The entire carriage? Bailiff. Bring forth the stricken omnibus. <laughs> Holy shit. So that's an omnibus. The omnibus. I can't believe they could bring something so enormous in here. Great Britain's courtrooms are amazing. As you can see, the omnibus is pulled by two horses and can carry up to eight passengers. Four passengers seated inside the enclosed cabin and another four on the rooftop deck above. Every Londoner knows that the best views of the city's architecture and sights are to be had from a top are to be had from the top of an omnibus. And I should point out to our foreign guests that there is a skylight in the roof allowing a view of the interior from the seats above. Ah, a skylight. Oh! The penny drops at last, I see. These two gentlemen were a comp These two gentlemen were occupying the rooftop seats on this omnibus when the murder took place. <laughs> His hat keeps falling. <laughs> that is how they came to witness the grim incident. Through the skylight. Uh, that makes perfect sense. Well, Council, this is a first. In all my years behind the bench, I've never experienced the crime itself, the crime scene itself being brought into the courtroom. There are a number of important clues remaining inside the carriage, my lord. I would like to submit the omnibus itself as evidence. That is the prosecution's wish. Very well. I, I, I see no reason why not. This omnibus is hereby formally accepted as evidence. The omnibus has been entered into the court record. The eight-seater omnibus that was the scene of the crime. There were passengers both inside the carriage and on the roof deck that night. I can't believe it! The entire crime scene entered as evidence? Yes! Great Britain is, is, is simply extraordinary! I could help myself a lot by giving that omnibus a thorough examination seeing as it's here. Let us continue with the... Let us continue with proceedings, then. Your cross-examination, Counsel. Hm. Pray, don't expect this Nipponese stray to understand the intricacies of a British court's cross-examination rights. Alright, my first cross-examination in a British court. Focus, Ryonosuke! Focus! Greetings and salutations, Mr. Tabakim and Chat! What up, Shadows? Welcome back to the stream! Funny thing about Omnibus, when a business called Omnibus opened, opened its doors in Finland, for a long time, I thought the bus company was called Omnibus. <laughs> what the witnesses saw. It, it was the last bus of the evening, so I had few customers. I remember it well.
The victim and the man accused of killing him were sat next to each other inside the bus. Then, out of the blue, the accused just reached over and plunged the knife right into his guts. That, 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 that's right. He, he, he stabbed him. I, I, I screamed, I did. C -c Couldn't help it. As, as soon as I heard the scream, I stopped my bus. And, 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 and then I saw it too. Alright, so when it happened, the only two people in the enclosed cabin area were the victim and the defendant. And... So help me. Three whole people witnessed the man I'm trying to defend do the deed. <sighs> I don't like to be pessimistic, but... We do seem to be in a rather difficult situation here. Uh, what am I supposed to think here? Is Mr. McGilded really innocent? Or could it be? It, before we jump to conclusions, our first task should be to gather information. We need to understand the case much better than we do at the moment. Yes, you're absolutely right. Let's listen to those witness statements again, a little more carefully this time. was the last bus of the evening, so I had few customers. I remember it well. Hold it! Hold it! Yes, I think it was sometime after 10, wasn't it? Oh, oh yeah, yes, sir. That, 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 that's right, sir. Y y yes, ever so cold it was, sir. F -f -f Freezing, in fact. And you had four passengers on board at the time. Is that correct? Y y y yes that, that, that's right, sir. Not not all traveling in the same parts of the bus, of course, though no. It was sometime after 10, wasn't it? Oh, yes, sir. That's right, sir. Ever so cold it was. Freezing, in fact. And you had four passengers on board at the time. Is that correct? And there were no other passengers when the incident took place? No one alighted, for example? You are, you are quite right with that, sir. N no other passengers like that. No, n none. I want to pursue one of these guys just because I'm curious, but I mean... I mean, nothing sounds fishy so far, right? Four passengers on board at the time, is that correct? Our illustrious yes, that's right. Returns. Welcome home. Fuck you. <laughs> well, you know what, Brian? Fuck you too! Thanks for the 30 months. Later. <laughs> Thanks for the 30 months, Brian! Welcome back to the stream! Scare dude on right seems easiest to break. He does. That's true. That is true. 
Okay, um, I'm actually gonna- I'm actually gonna pause right here. I gotta use the restroom, so I'm gonna roll some highlights, uh, run some pre-roll- or run, uh, run the ad block to get rid of those, and I will be back in a few minutes. Hi, right, chat. Come sub to me instead. <laughs> Welcome back, Brian. Thanks for the 30 months. Bye. Okay, sit tight, guys. I'll be right back. All right, we back, we back, we back. Just finished my bath and shower. Nice, ladies. You had four passengers on board at the time, is that correct? Yes, that's right, sir. Not all traveling in the same parts of the bu 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 of course, though, no. And there were no other passengers when the incident took place. No one alighted, for example. Hey, Siri. Hey, Siri. Hey, Siri! All right. All right. What does alighted mean? Fucking thing sucks! Descend from a train, bus, or other form of- Hold on, no, that can't be- Of a bird, descend from the air- To come down and settle as after flight. To come to come down from something such as a vehicle, such as dismount or deplane, they alighted from the bus. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Get on board. So according to that, get off board. Got it, got it. Thank you, shadows. And there were no other passengers when the incident took place. No one alighted, for example. Okay. All right, we'll <laughs> we'll pursue this guy. Excuse me. Excuse me. Mr. First. Oh! H how can I help you, sir? That last statement... Did it trouble you in some way? Oh! Um, not- not particularly, sir! N no If anything... He's troubling me with that hat of his. Has he greased his head? <laughs> Oh, oh dear, sir. I, I hope my hat's not troubling you, sir. I'm, I'm still just an, impre an apprentice, you see. Mr. Naruhodo. Even the witnesses can see what's going through your mind. You really must be more careful. <sighs> I wish it were that simple. The victim and the man accused of killing him were sat next to each other inside the bus. The victim and the man accused of killing him were sat next to each other inside the bus. Hold it! And you saw them through the skylight in the roof of the carriage? That's right. When you sit up on the- when you sit up on the top deck, the window's right there at your feet. There was a lamp on inside, so I had a pretty good view. The two of them were wearing hats, and I couldn't exactly make out their faces. But there's not a shred of doubt in my mind that it was Mr. McGilded. How can you be so sure? Well, how can I put it politely? Mick Gilded is a gentleman of rather small stature. I couldn't have mistaken him for anyone else. Let's not forget that when the vehicle came to a halt, the only people inside the enclosed cabin were the deceased Mr. Mason and Mr. McGilded. There is no room for doubt here. Ugh. I really wish there was. 
Then, out of the blue, the accused just reached over and plunged the knife right into his guts. Hold it! Hold it! You actually saw the exact moment it happened? Did... Didn't I already testify to that? Or are fair dinkum hard-working city bankers not considered trustworthy these days? Hold on, let me just take a look at the court record. Internal hemorrhaging as a result of a single stab wound to the abdomen. Let's take a look at the photograph. Leather gloves, the blood stain there. There's a blood stain on the right glove. Okay, so. If Mr. Mason is sitting on the right, Mr. McGilder was sitting on the left, then that would mean that he turned to his left and stabbed him in the abdomen? So that's how he has blood on the right glove? Yeah, let's 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 explore this omnibus. I feel like we need to yeah, we got to further examine this bad boy. Well, let's open the door and go inside, shall we? Ugh, the scene of a murder. It's horrible. Oh, <laughs> how cool. Okay, okay. All right, all right. All right, so that's where Mr. Mason was sitting. And Mr. McGilded would have been right here. Oh, hey, Hades. Have you seen, have you seen Civil War? Because, correct, uh, feel free, correct me if I'm wrong in the chat. I'm pretty sure Tom Holland's Spider-Man first appears in Civil War, and then Homecoming is his first standalone film, and then Far From Home, and then No Way Home. It kind of glaze over it. Tony Stark meets up with Peter Parker in Captain America Civil War. Oh, you did watch Civil War. But yeah, they, they definitely don't, they don't redo like the whole like, you know, origin story and stuff from uh, like the, the Tobey Maguire films. That's blood that's soaked into the seat. The victims, obviously. Yes, and that seat would clearly be visible from the roof deck. Would you really stab somebody in full view of the other passengers like that? I wonder. Well, it was after dark. And there was a lamp on in here, so perhaps the culprit couldn't see anything outside through the skylight. Whichever way you look at it, it doesn't seem like it was a planned attack. Yeah, Civil War is sick, dude. I, yeah, I really enjoyed Civil War. Yeah, in the event people haven't seen it, let's, let's yeah, let's not drop any spoilers. Ah, that's a poster for the great exhibition that's due to start six months from now. There's a lot of focus being drawn to the Crystal Tower, the centerpiece of the whole exposition. Ooh, the Crystal Tower. It's under construction already, I believe. People all over London must be fizzing with excitement at the prospect of such a grand event. Let's see what else. What else can we examine? The handle? Have you seen enough? Let's step back outside then. Oh no, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Oops. I thought there was a clue on the handle or something. Hold on, let me go back in. It's been a while, yeah, yeah, no, me too. Everyone knows the story, so no point in telling it again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm glad they didn't redo, like, the whole intros. Yeah. 
the whole Spider-Man origin thing. Okay, so we examine the left side. What about here? Ooh, hold on, hold on. Oh, I was gonna see, I'm like, is there a... Is there like a little, little cupboard or something on the other side? This seat has a handle, it seems. Ooh. What do we have here? This looks like all sorts of equipment that might be needed to keep the omnibus running. Eating tubes, tools to repair wheels, blankets, horseshoeing tools. So it's a storage compartment for the coachman to keep his things, it seems. There doesn't seem to be any space for passengers to stow their luggage, that's for sure. Well, I don't, unima I don't imagine it would be very convenient for that purpose anyway. Okay, I just wanted to see. I was like, is there something else, like, hiding that I could further examine specifically? Okay. Okay, so that's, that's nothing there. Ah, that's a poster for the Great Exhibition. Is this the... Oh, this might be still the same conversation points as the... When I was looking at the other side. That's a poster for the Great Exhibition that's due to start six months from now. There's a lot of focus being drawn to the Crystal Tower. The centerpiece of the whole exposition. Oh, yeah, it is. Okay, okay. Okay, um... No, that's to leave. Skylight... Yeah, I think the skylight is the only other thing we can examine in this omnibus. It's quite a large skylight, isn't it? Yes, quite large enough to afford a good view into the cabin from the roof deck. And there doesn't seem- and there doesn't appear to be a handle or catch of any description. So I suppose it can't be open from inside the cabin at least. Hmm. Okay, okay. I think that, uh, yep, yeah, I think that's it. Alright guys, I'm going to be streaming for about another 10 minutes, and then I'm going to have to call it. But we'll definitely be back, we'll be back to more uh, Ace Attorney, I want to say a week from now. On Tuesday. So yeah, don't worry. The adventurers in Ace Attorney will definitely continue. Let's see, yeah, let's explore... Outside. Job Masters. So this is the roof deck of the Omnibus. Oh, you must have a wonderful view of London streets from up here. So people sit all the way up here on bitter winter nights with the cold air rushing past them? And they have to pay money to do so? Brrr. I can't imagine how cold it must feel. That... That just made me think of something horrible. Can you imagine being dragged around the city in the freezing cold as a punishment? Perhaps that is the real price you pay to stay out late. I know we already in investigated the skylight from inside, but let me see it. Please, if there's anything up top. You can certainly see inside the carriage through this opening, that's for sure. Yes, and there's a lamp in in enclosed in the cabin. So I'm quite- so I'm sure the witnesses could- would have been able to see quite clearly. That's not good for us. Let's see. Investigate anything down here. Phoenix Wright Omnibus! Oh my god! Phoenix Wright! <laughs> Our ancestor! <laughs> That's cool. 
If you don't know what that means, Phoenix Wright is the, uh, he's the, he's the attorney in the main, uh, Ace Attorney games. But this takes place, like, way before that. Give, give him a little, little nod right there. That's cool, that's cool. Okay, never mind. I was, I was gonna see, maybe I can ask something about the sign. I think that's everything to explore or investigate here on the omnibus. And in terms of looking around and pursuing the other witnesses, I think the clear way I know is because they, I don't know, some kind of like thought bubble or something pops up, but I think we have some kind of a visual cue. Well, gonna have to watch Civil War right now before I watch Homecoming. Good choice in rewatching Civil War. Might as well start at the beginning with Iron Man and watch them all. <laughs> I love this part, going over the 3D model looking for clues. Yeah, it's cool. Tom Holland doesn't have an origin story like Toby or Andrew, or not yet at least. Yeah, no, seriously, Hades. I want to rewatch all. I, I want to rewatch Spider-Man one through three, and then watch the the two amazing Spider-Man films before I go rewatch. Uh, was it No Way Home? Just so certain moments will like be more like it'll make more sense for me. Or are fair. Income hardworking city bankers not considered trustworthy these days. Uh, oh, no, 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 I, I didn't mean that. This is no good. I've really got a. I've really got his backup. Perhaps you could just tell us what. He interrupted us. Is there a seat handle on the other side as well, where the blood is? There isn't. Interesting. Is there a seat handle? Hold on. Oh. I... Hmm. I completely overlooked that. Yeah, and they, yeah, they have TV series as well. I haven't seen any of the Disney Plus ones. My lord! Hmm? Juror number three. What's the meaning of this? My mind is made up, my lord. Completely and utterly made up. M made up about what? I don't like the stinking rich. Never have. They're always up to something or other that they shouldn't be. Every one of them. And that little leprechaun of a man is no exception. Well, he can't fool me. Huh? What the? There's no point wasting time listening to any more of this. That's my opinion on the matter anyway. That is precisely what I was about to say. As the foreman of the jury, it's my duty to set a good example to my fellow jurors. Ah. Ah. No, 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 no. Hey! Whoa, whoa. What the? What is happening here? Let me see. Ah, yes. It seems that's how. It seems that's how uh, the members of the jury give their verdicts. With fire? Apparently, yes. White for innocent, and black for guilty. 
As the six members of the jury make up their minds about the case, one by one, they each cast a ball of fire into the great scales of justice, as we saw a moment ago. So if those enormous scales fall completely to the black side, does that mean... Let's do our very best to make sure that doesn't happen! <sighs> now I'm even more worried than I was before! Very well. The court acknowledges the change in the jury's stance. Counsel for the defense, please continue with your cross-examination. <laughs> this is a nightmare. Oh no! Oh fuck, monkers! <laughs> oh, you enjoying Hawkeye? Nice, nice. Just who the fuck brings the guy who is constantly fiddling with a switchblade as a juror? I know, right? You know the granny's gonna vote guilty. You can see the bloodlust in her eyes. I know while she's knitting. <laughs> That, 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 that's right. He, he stabbed him. I, sc I screamed I did. Couldn't help it. As, as soon as I heard the scream, I, I stopped my bus. And, and, and then I saw it too. All right. So when it happened, the only two people in the enclosed cabin area were the victim and the defendant. And so help me, three whole people witnessed the man I'm trying to defend do the deed. I don't like to be pessimistic, but we do seem to be in a rather difficult situation here. <sighs> what am I supposed to think here? Is Mr. McGilded really innocent? Or could it be? Before we jump to conclusions, our first task should be to gather information. We need to understand the case much better than we do at the moment. Yes, you're absolutely right. Let's listen to those witness statements again, a little more carefully this time. It was the last... It was the last bus of the evening, so I had few customers. I remember it well. The victim and the man accused of killing him were sat next to each other inside the bus. Then out of the blue, the accused just reached over and plunged the knife right into his guts. That's right, he stabbed him. I screamed I did. Couldn't help it. As soon as I heard the scream, I stopped my bus, and then I saw it too. Wait... If he's operating the bus, how did he s Hold it! Hold on, I'm gonna press him on this. Hmm... What exactly did you see? Oh, 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 well, well, sir, that, 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 that would be the, the, the passenger, sir. Yes, co collapse on the floor he was. And by the passenger, obviously you are referring to the victim, Mr. Mason, the brickmaker. The, the, the other p p p p p passenger had that k k k k knife in his hand, l l like this.
By the other passenger, obviously you're referring to the accused, Mr. Magnus McGilded. And then, and then he p p p p plunged it down like, like this, stabbing the other passenger in the p p p p p belly. Collapsed on the floor? I thought he was sitting up on the photo. Oh my god, I completely missed that Vega! You're right! Oh, hold on, hold on. Shit. I think it's too late to go back and press him on that. What? My lord, if you'll forgive the interruption... Ah! Juror number two! Go on! Mr. McGilded is a pillar of society and a gentleman. And a gentleman's word should be sacrosanct. However, those of us in service know we must accept hard truths. W wait, w what are you about to do? Dispose of the rubbish. Oh, fuck. No! I don't wish to cause offense. But I do like to eradicate all traces of filth and grime. I have painstakingly typed every word uttered here today and cross-referenced all the facts. As such, I am now in a position to draw the only logical conclusion Oh, fuck! Not again! Th That's four out of six jury members who've proposed a guilty verdict! There are only two left! Oh my god, no! We've had it. Every time I press these witnesses for more information, I just make the situation worse. Nevertheless, what we need more than anything at the moment is more information. We're still very much in the dark. I... I suppose I'll just have to keep pressing the witnesses knowing that more sparks may well fly. We mustn't give up hope that we'll uncover something that will give us a way to fight back. But... <sighs> All right. I'll keep trying. I can't give up. <sighs> I just need to keep calm and listen to the witnesses' statements again. Okay, 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 okay. All right. Alright, so when it happened, the only two people in the enclosed cabin area were the victim and the defendant. And so help me, three whole people witnessed the man I'm trying to defend get stabbed. I don't like to be pessimistic, but we do seem to be in a rather difficult situation here. Ugh. What am I supposed to think here? Is Mr. McGilded really innocent, or could it be? Before we jump to conclusions, our first task should be to gather information. We need to understand the case much better than we do at the moment. Yes, you're absolutely right. 
Let's listen to those witness statements again for the third time. A little more carefully this time. Okay, 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 okay. He stabbed him, I screamed, I did, I couldn't help it. As soon as I heard the scream, I stopped my bus, and then I saw it too. Okay, so we're gonna press him. Hold it! What exactly did you see? Oh, well, sir, th th that would be the p p p p passenger, sir. Yes, collapsed on the floor he was. Present though? Why the hell am I still getting ads? What's the point of spending money then? Brian, are you running an ad blocker by chance? I don't like fair play statement three, honestly. Can you press him? Dude, I may have just screwed myself over. Yeah, but it wouldn't even work either way. Should I turn it off then for Twitch? Yep. Yep. I saw someone post in Reddit that if you're st if you're subbed and you're still getting ads but you're running an ad blocker, that 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 may be causing the issue because like Twitch is trying to I don't know, trying to make it so that that doesn't work. So yeah. See? Yeah. And I mean, I'm going to be ending stream pretty soon, so you may not be able to test it until uh, the next stream. Or I mean, uh, anyone else that you're subbed to. But that may be the reason. Order! Order! It is hard to believe one of London's greatest philanth philanthropists, but this is damning indeed. The law knows no philanth... The law knows no philanthropists, my lord. Only the innocent and the guilty. Good deeds mean nothing when overshadowed by evil. The truth is everything. C couldn't, couldn't agree more, sir. The truth. Okay, all right. That's ridiculous. Now, man, now I'm mad. First I get off at 12.30, then I get ads. Then you tell me you're getting off? Blasphemy! <laughs> it's past 11, bro. And I still haven't showered yet. Stabbed in belly. The knife is in his chest in image two, right? Um, no, it's in his abdomen. Two days, two more days, just two more days! You're almost there, Brian! It was the last bus of the evening, so I had few customers. I remember it well. The victim and the man accused of killing him were sat next to each other inside the bus. And out of the blue, the accused just reached over and plunged the knife right into his guts. That's right, he stabbed him. I screamed I did, couldn't help it. Wait, um... I don't like fair play statement three, honestly. Uh, so this one? Then out of the blue, the accused just reached over and plunged a knife right into his guts. Okay, so let's press him on this. Yo, what up, Frozen? 
Welcome back to the stream. And Shima, welcome back. Oh, you haven't showered yet? You dirty boy! Let me join you! <laughs> Jesus, Shima! I'm doing good, Frozen. How about yourself, bro? Appreciate you tuning in. Sorry you, sorry you came right at the tail end of the stream, but yeah, we started up case number three in the Great Ace Attorney Chronicles. And yeah, dude, this is our first trial in London. How about yourself, dude? How you doing? I bet he showers naked. Little slut! <laughs> and out of the blue, the accused just reached over and plunged the knife right into his guts. Hold it! Hold it! You actually saw the exact moment it happened? Didn't I... Didn't I already testify to that? No, I, I, I've already pressed him on this. Or are fair dinkum hardworking city bankers not considered trustworthy these days? Oh, no, no, I didn't mean that. This is no good. I've really got his back up. Perhaps you could just tell us what you saw in a little more detail, if you don't mind. Actually, wait, wait hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, we didn't hear this all the way through. I, yeah, I decided to, yeah, I know what happened. I decided to... Uh, pursue someone else before we fully heard this out. Okay, okay. Why don't you ask the young man next to me? Oh, m me? Oh, well, yes. That's right, he stabbed him. I screamed I did, couldn't help it. That's right, he stabbed him, I screamed it, I did, I couldn't help it. Nah, none of these are really damning pieces of evidence. 13 hour workday? Ooh! Sorry to hear that, bro. What, what days do you get off for uh, for a holiday? Or when's your last workday? Press him on statement four? Yeah, let's press this one. He stabbed him, you say? And you were sitting up on the roof deck, were you? Y y yes that that's right, sir. I, w I was up on the roof seats. I remember seeing the little gent sitting next to the fellow that was stabbed. I remember seeing the little gent sitting next to the fellow that was stabbed. Okay. But hey, in this picture there's no gloves. He's not wearing gloves. Right? The leather gloves the defendant was wearing at the time of the incident. There is a blood stain on the right glove. Maybe I'm overthinking it, but... Okay... I, I'd been thinking about getting a new hat design, you see? So I was just gazing absent-minded- I was just gazing absent-mindedly around. But then, then I happened to look down through the skylight. It, 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 it was sticking right out from his belly. That, that, that huge, great knife.
Hmm. A grim sight indeed. Ah, uh, that didn't help me at all. You get Christmas Eve off and the weekend for sure, man. Well, hey, I hope you get time to rest up, relax, and spend some <laughs> spend some time with family, dude. Sorry to hear you've been having to work fucking 13 hours, bro. Yeah, no gloves, right? The jury look like they're even more convinced my client did it than they were before. That appears to have made everyone even more dubious that Mr. McGilded is telling the truth. If only we had some evidence to counter their suspicions. Mr. First. Oh, oh, y y yes, y yes, sir? Is this the knife you saw? Oh, good, good grief! Yes, th that's it! Th the very one, sir! It, it, is that? Yes, counsel. This is the blade that was driven into the victim's belly like a stake through the heart. Those motherfuckers! <laughs> Those motherfuckers! <laughs> do you have... Do you have knife? Ooh. Your evidence? That is a blade of considerable size, Council. It is. And furthermore, the scabbard is emblazoned prominently with a certain initial. The letter M. <laughs> Which seems oddly familiar. Ah! Uh, please, no! M for Magnus, perhaps, or McGilded, possibly. <laughs> Take your pick. It seems this particularly, it seems this particular big name in London made a <laughs> magnificent mistake. Objection! Objection! But there are M's everywhere. L like, uh, like, yes, l like in Mason. Objection. Objection. This blade is far too extravagant for a poor brickmaker to have owned. No, this weapon of murder almost certainly belongs to the accused. Ugh. Hmm. Not conclusive, but certainly compelling counsel. The murder weapon has been entered into the court record. A largish knife that was found lodged in the victim's abdomen. Its quality and fancy ornamentation suggest it must be quite valuable. An M or is it a W? I was about to say that shadow. <laughs> Romance slam! Nice, here we go. We have the knife! There we go! Okay, okay, okay. As soon as I heard the scream, I stopped my bus. And then I saw it too. Let's examine this. That part is the sheath, isn't it? Hmm. Are you alright, Mr. Naruhoto? Hmm? Oh, sorry, yes, I just... Don't really like blades. Oh! 
Those don't seem like the words of a man with a large katana slung from his wrist. <laughs> wow, wow, Susano, wow. That's not a blade. That's Kazuma's soul. Anywhere, anyway, there's no sense in denying it. Let's see what the blade looks like. Ooh, here we go, here we go, here we go. Ugh, it looks like a lot of blood. It surely is blood. The victims. Ugh, an Englishman... An Englishman's blood looks a lot like a Japanese man's blood. Did you think it- did you think it wouldn't? Bruh. <laughs> uh, sorry, it's, it's just that we've only just arrived here in Great Britain. I'm finding a little hard to adjust. Yes, I do understand. An ornate letter M. Undeniably Mr. M Undeniably Mr. Magnus McGilded's initial. And it's beautifully gilded too. It must be very valuable, I should think. Ah. What is it? Look at this M. If you turn it upside... <laughs> you guys called it? If you turn it upside down, it becomes a W. This could change everything! A W? Yes, this is one of those, you know, turnabout cases. I'm sure of it. I'm afraid I don't know at all. But what I'm- but what I am sure of is that this is an M. Oh. Well, that idea was quickly quashed. Oh. I thought it was a breakthrough! <laughs> Do you need my help more? Or are you gonna buy yourself next? Uh, I wanna try to... Uh, I'm trying to... I'm trying to by myself, but oh man. Shit's getting tough. Uh, I am going with... I'm going with my hunch though. No, I mean... I, I, I appreciate you guys chiming in. I'm definitely open to the suggestions. Yeah, that's a W because... Yeah, that's a W because flourishes are at the end, not the beginning of a letter. Oh... I was expecting cur- I was expecting purple. I fell asleep, lol! <laughs> it's okay, Miss Evil, no problem, welcome back. I'm gonna be ending pretty soon. I hope you had a nice nap. Hmm. I have nothing to really prove that, though. I mean, I, I definitely I could see that being M2. Like, I have nothing- I, like, have no evidence or something to kind of back up that claim, you know? How much of this do you remember, by the way, Vega? Victim. Yeah, actually, hold on. I didn't look at this. Name, Thrice Fired Mason Male. 54, Occupation Brickmaker. Time and cause of death, 15th February, 10 p.m. to 11 p.m. Stabbed once in the abdomen with a knife whilst journeying, while journey, journeying in an omnibus. Died due to internal hemorrhaging <laughs> resulting from the trauma.
I just don't want you to feel like I'm giving you the answers because I'm honestly going with my gut. Oh, yeah, yeah no, no worries. Like, nothing. I only remember the last case and mostly the second game. Oh, okay. <laughs> For sure, Vega. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. As long as you're not, like, giving me directly the answers and then, you know, you're just trying to, like, yes, trying to, you know, like, work together to help me out. Yeah, no, that's completely fine. For sure. Because I know, but these games are pretty, pretty old. This is definitely blood, isn't it? Not the most pleasant sight to be confronted with on our first day in London. But yeah, by all means, don't feel obligated to, like, help out. But I mean, yeah, if you have any suggestions or you want to chime in, yeah, no. You're more than welcome to. Because, yeah, I'm kind of stumped, too. I'm just like, fuck, dude. Four of the juries already fucking don't, like, believe us. I'm like, dude, I'm fucked. <laughs> Not the most pleasant sight to be confronted with on our first day in London. Well, nothing will come of grumbling now. No. By the way, is Mr. McGilded right-handed? Yes, I believe so. He was toying with a coin in his right hand a little earlier. Hey, Blazers! Welcome back to the stream, dude, and thanks for the host, bro. We are on case number three, my dude. And four of the jury members don't believe us already! We're screwed! <laughs> How you doing, man? Yes, I believe so. He was toying with the coin in his right hand a little earlier. Huh. Pity. If only he'd been left-handed. I know, right? I think blood on either glove would be fairly incriminating, really. Let's see. Anything else here on the glove? Come on, come on. Something besides the blood? No, it doesn't look like it. Okay, so... This is the front of the bus, so that's where the old man would be, right? Beppo? The two people would be up here. Just scrolling over and make sure... See if there's anything I missed. We definitely fully explored the inside. I has coffee! Nice! Do you drink your coffee black, or do you have, like, drink it with milk, sugar? Also, I don't think they do this level... Also, I don't think they do this level of information. I've gotta go, but wanted to stop by and say sup, bitch? Oh, <laughs> for sure, Blazers. No problem, dude. <laughs> I'll answer how I'm doing after I return back. See y'all! Have a good one, Blazers. I will most likely already be off, but I appreciate you popping in, dude. Have a good day, man. But the blood angle, with an angle of the knife. Blood don't defy gravity and travel up a blade. To the hands of the glove. But the blood angle, with the angle of the knife. Blood don't defy gravity and travel up a blade to the hands of the glove. Yeah, I have my suspicions. I would tell my line of thinking, but... It would be too long to type. Can you press Beppo statement one, two for me, please? Yeah. The old man turned around and looked through the wood and saw the stabbed man. Let me look at this knife again. So if he stabbed him, blood is right there towards the front. Must I don't. Hmm. 
Wait. If he stabbed him, wouldn't there be blood on here too? Right? Don't you guys think? Because I was thinking, I was like, okay, so it got on it got on the right glove, right? So then it must have splashed. But then if it splashed and if he was holding the knife, then it would be there should be blood on the handle too. Now you see what I see. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. There is no blood on here at all. Only on the knife. Mmm. Okay, okay. All right, chat. Yeah, dude, right on the handle. There is none on that handle. He licked it up. <laughs> it's a protein drink, but I can drink it black. Uh, I can drink it with just a uh, sweetener. I can drink it with just creamer. I'm not too picky. Okay, for sure, for sure. Damn, Miss Eagle. Protein drink? Trying to stay awake and get them gains? That's what's up. <laughs> How Beppo saw the stabbed man. There was no big window from his position. No, yeah, no, exactly. Okay, we're definitely gonna present him. As soon as I heard the scream, I stopped my bus, and and then I saw it too. Objection! Objection! Let's just consider the implications of that statement for a moment, shall we? What implications, Council? Nothing strikes me about it. What? What do you mean? There's nothing striking about it. Ah, oh, bro! Oh, fuck. Dude, I, I can't say there's no- like, how did you see? Ah. Oh. Damn, no, fuck. We messed up one of our chances already. <laughs> the gloves could have just absorbed it. Oh, yo, Alaskan Bulldog. I'm so sorry. I didn't say what up. Um, I, I, I thought you were someone else. It's same name, color. But what up, dude? Welcome back to the stream, man. The gloves could have just absorbed it? <sighs> Maybe. But if you look at the bus, the driver don't have a window to look in. Yeah, right, so it's like... Ah, how did that not work? Hmm. What does strike me is your propensity for the inane, however. Ah. I need to clear my head and come at this again from a different angle. It's also a game. I don't know if it has that much realism involved. Lol, not gains, more like, make sure I don't become nut nutrition deficient! Oh, okay, okay. That's why I made the joke, he looked through the wood. Beppo statement one, I think, also. Try this one. The leather glove would absorb... the blood. Press him on this one. It was the last bus of the evening, so I had few customers that I remember it well. Let me just take a look at my evidence. Is there anything I can present on that one? First one? Okay, okay. Yes, I think it was some time after 10, wasn't it? Uh, oh, yeah, yes, sir. That's that, that, that's right, sir. Yes, F, F was so cold it was. Sir, f f f freezing, in fact. 
And you had four passengers on board at the time, is that correct? Uh, ad block coming in about two minutes and 30 seconds, FYI. You thought about pressing him on it before? No, I did. But I can't remember if I... I can't remember if I pursued one of these people. Like, I didn't fully hear it through. Because, from my understanding, I'm pretty sure you only pursue... Like, I'm pretty sure there's a visual cue. Like, they look stressed out, or they're, they're kind of like, Oh, shit! Like, I don't think there's any other reason to pursue them otherwise. Yeah, 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 yeah yes, that's right, sir. Not all traveling in the same p p p parts of the b b b b b bus, of course, though. N n no. Why is he so cold in court with all the lanterns going, plus those two scales of justice on fire? <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> His breath is all cold and shit, too. <laughs> and you had four passengers on board at the time, is that correct? So, Mr. Mason, Mr. McGill did. And then, fair play. And Hurst. Yes, the game will give you a visual cue if you need to press them. Okay, 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 that's good. I was like, oh man, if it doesn't, then that's gonna be super tough. He's straight up Dr. Freeze or Iceman. The Iceman cometh! How did the dinosaur- or like, what killed the dinosaurs? The Iceman brings us! Hey, I didn't miss getting to say hi! Hi, Cat! Welcome back! Yeah, I honestly should have ended like 40 minutes ago, but I'm trying to make some progress in this case. <laughs> Welcome back, Cat. How you doing? And there were no other passengers when the incident took place. No one alighted, for example. You, 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 you're quite right with that, sir. No other passengers like that. No. None. So nobody fled the scene of the crime, then. I, I have to say, the boss insists on it running, he does, every evening, that last b b b b b bus of the day. I have to say, the boss insists on it running, he does, every evening, that last bus of the day. But I, 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 I do wonder sometimes if it's altogether worthwhile. Yeah, yeah, yes. S s s sorry to say. Lul. What do you mean by that? Well, what with it being so cold and everything, and only m m making t t 20 pence on the run, you see. Yes, I I spend that much at the p p p p p p pub on the way home, just just ch 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 trying to warm up again. I, I, I just can't believe it, sir. C c c c can't b believe it. M m m m murder on my own p p p p bus. It's too awful to think about. I haven't been able to shake this cold ever since it happened. My lord, I wish to speak. Yes, zero number five. Do I take it that you? 
two. As the master of the London Guild of Coachmen, the idea of a murder being committed in one of the city's carriages is utterly abhorrent to me. It wouldn't be right to make a decision before hearing all the facts, though, I said to myself. Huh? But I've heard enough now. The horse has bolted, as they say. No, 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 P please, just keep an eye on- G up now, Silver Blaze. The finish is in sight. Oh, fuck. Oh, no. Beppo is a long-standing member of the guild, and I trust what the man says. Oh, oh, oh th 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 thank you, sir. You too kind, sir. Uh, this is t t too unkind, sir. Which now means that five jurors agree to condemn this man. Lul! Madam, juror number six. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yes, dear. What can I do for you? Can I stitch you a quilt? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Granny, it's up to you. Please, believe me. You have heard the testimonies of the witnesses in the stand. Oh, yeah, yeah, yes. I certainly have. Still got my hearing, you know. Then, pray tell, why are you yet to pronounce your leaning? Hmm. Well, dear, the, the, the thing is, I'm a, I'm a creature of habit, me. I always go to the park at around this time of day and sit on a nice bench and get on with my knitting. Uh, Nanda. There's a lovely little park just near where I live. McGilded Park, it's called. Hmm? The gentleman donated it to the city, you know. To put a smile on Londoner's face, he said. I, I can't imagine such a fine young gentleman would have it in him to take another man's life. He's always doing wonderful things for the city. Or, he is always doing wonderful things for the city. That's right, a man like that wouldn't stab someone, surely. Mother, may we go to the big yielded public library later and borrow some boom more books? How many Londoners live with their heads in the clouds? Do you people not know? What kind of a man Magnus McGilded really is? What, what kind of a man is he? The philanthropist Magnus McGilded has enough wealth to purchase the entire city he claims to value so highly. But where did all that wealth come from? Your client is a Shylock, sir, and one with the very darkest of souls. What? Stone the crows! McGilded lends money at extortionate rates of interest so his victims have no hope of repaying him. When they default, he takes possession of everything they own. He is a vulture that preys on the weak. I, 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 I've never heard any mention of that before! 
Your faculties haven't deserted you, I'm sure, madam. So has this thought not crossed your mind? Would a man wealthy enough to buy London in its entirety not have a carriage of his own? What possible reason could this man have had to make use of a public omnibus service? Uh, uh, um, you're you're not saying that the victim, a poor brickmaker, had next to nothing to his name, save considerable financial liability. It will come as no surprise that his creditor was the accused. More Magnus McGilded. Mag, thanks for the host! But let it also be known that the very day Mr. Mason was killed was the final repayment date for his debts. Oh, good, good gracious! The brickmaker was destitute. He had lost his house. He had not a shilling with which to repay his debts. And in the end, this pitiful soul had the very last thing he owned taken from him. His life. By the merciless philanthropist pretender, Magnus McGilded. I don't believe it! Hold it! Granny's the MVP! Knitting intensifies! <laughs> Why is she still knitting? Isn't it a bad time for knitting? Gotta trust the granny! <laughs> Hi Meg! Welcome back to the stream! I really think someone was hidden in the fucking storage seat. <laughs> If I might add something briefly? M Miss Susato? You claim that the victim had been lent money by Mr. McGilded. But where is the evidence to support your claim? Hmm. Pray, forgive the discourtesy of filling my hollow chalice in a court of law. Aha! There, there, there it is! Lord Van Zeke's hollow chalice! Ah! Oh my god! It, how can this be considered acceptable? Hmm. But I found myself in unexpectedly good humor. I had heard ladies from the Far East could show Whoa. great courage. Hmm. But I didn't expect to experience it myself. Ah! As. As judicial assistant to the defense, I am simply doing my job. Hm. What a pity that your display of courage is in vain. This is the debtor's ledger, which details all the monies loaned by the accused. You will find the victim's name clearly recorded inside. Uh, oh! Allow me to present this ledger as evidence. And... Pray forgive the discourtesy of raising my chalice... My chalice... In a toast... To the enigmatic East at the same time. A marvelous toast, Council! I will gladly accept this new evidence! 
The debtor's ledger has been entered into the court record. A catalog of people who had borrowed money from the defendant at a high rate of interest. It includes the victim, who owed 20 guineas. Ah, yes. 20 guineas. The victim owed a considerable sum. And the accused made quite certain he had ample recompense. Hmm. W well, it, it, it would seem I've... I've had the wall pulled over my eyes! Regrettably, madam, that is the modus operandi of the accused. It's such a pretty little park, too! <laughs> what a scoundrel! No, 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 no! Uh, still? Maybe it's all for the best! Uh, uh, no, 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 wait, 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 wait a minute! Let, let's take a... I don't stand for nonsense! was it? The last juror's decision. Ah! According to this Encyclopedia of British Law, when all members of the jury have concluded that the defendant is guilty, court proceedings are suspended and the presiding judge will deliver the final verdict and sentence. <laughs> no! That's what it says here. <laughs> the final verdict. It's over then. Oh! There's a footnote though. Oh? A footnote? However, the defense... All six members of the jury are now in agreement in this case. Allow me to convey my respect for your swift and righteous decision. According to the laws of this country, I will now conclude the trial by delivering my final verdict. I trust there are no objections. Objection! Objection! No! Mrs. <sighs> 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 Sato, just tell me one thing. Uh, oh! Yes? You were in the middle of saying something before? The footnote in your Encyclopedia of British Law. However the defense... What did it say next? Uh, uh, oh! Uh, yes, of course! One moment. When all members of the jury have concluded that the defendant is guilty, court proceedings are suspended and the presiding judge will deliver the final verdict and sentence. Then the footnote says, however the defense has the right to demand a summation examination of the jurors at this point. <laughs> A summation examination? Objection! Objection? A summation examination. <laughs> 
From which century has that tome you have there been resurrected? Uh, uh, uh. Judging from the binding, I would say that book is at least 50 years old. Any modern text on British law wouldn't even give such an antiquated procedure a mention. It's a relic, long forgotten and certainly no longer practiced. So, you're out of luck. Uh, Objection! Oh. <laughs> Objection! No! What even is it, Mr. Sato? This so-called summation examination. Oh, um, what, one moment and I'll read about it. You would demand the right to a procedure before you even understand what it entails? <laughs> Typical Nipponese. Alright, Mr. Naruhoto, I think I understand. It seems that under this procedure, we would be able to appeal to the members of the jury. To do what exactly? Appeal to them to change their leaning and reverse their decisions. And it says here that... If successful, the proceedings of the trial must be resumed. <gasps> Make them reverse their decisions. Yes, in times gone by, barristers would use a summation examination to attempt to influence the jury's decision. But that procedure became something of a formality with no practical benefit, really. So it rather fell out of use. I wonder why? Because it was devoid of purpose. Changing just one member of the jury's mind would be hard enough, let alone several. No self-respecting defense barrister would even assert his right to try in this day and age. Hmm. Still. I don't see any mention of the procedure actually being formally revoked. What are you suggesting? I'm suggesting that although it may be antiquated and largely forgotten, it isn't yet extinct. <laughs> what do you think, Mr. Naruhoto? <sighs> Summation examination. Our last possible option. Do we assert our right to carry it out, or admit defeat? Oh, we asserting, baby. Bro, she just whipped out a book. Yeah, dude. Objection! You can tell you welcome back. Is Van Zeeks meant to be British? Yeah, everyone, like, we're, we're in a London courthouse. Why kill when that would only cost him everything? He gets nothing out of it, throws motive completely out the window. We're asserting our right. The defense wishes to assert its right to a summation examination, my lord. Objection! <laughs> Objection! London is the capital city of the most powerful nation on Earth. We have a duty to the world to exemplify the very highest standards of judicial procedure. Summation examinations are an embarrassment that should remain buried. Objection! Objection! But if it's our right, it's our right. I believe it could prove vital in this trial. The defense's petition is perfectly valid. The court will proceed with the summation examination. <laughs> <laughs> this is madness. 
foreman. Are you and the remainder of the jury ready? Uh, uh? Well, well, um, I'm, I'm, I'm not, uh, um. There was no mention of this in the letter I received, you see, so? All members of the jury will be asked to explain on what grounds they have reached their decision. On what grounds? You must all justify your decisions and explain why you believe the defendant to be guilty. Well, well, well my lord, you're rather putting us on the spot. <laughs> this is most irregular. N no mention was made of this before. <laughs> I don't really hold with all this justifying lock. Damn, dude, she types fucking fast, dude. <laughs> that seems to have thrown the jurors off. It seems none of them have experienced this before. All right, then. The summation examination. A defense procedure no a, de a defense procedure no practicing lawyer has attempted for years is it? Well, just maybe. It might be the opportunity we've been looking for to turn this trial around. So be it then. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, the court hereby calls upon you to state the grounds on which you find the defendant, Magnus McGilded, guilty of this most serious crime. Judicial findings. The jurors' contentions. Okay. I'm gonna have to call it here, guys. I know, I know, I know, cliffhanger. Shit's getting spicy. But it's past midnight. I gotta, I gotta end it. <laughs> but we will be back for sure next Tuesday. I know, Nemo, I know. Change your face. <laughs> Spicy. All the view to assume I'm self-respecting. <laughs> Assert for your right to party. Let me see. <laughs> I know. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry, but I still have to take a shower. I gotta get this, ready for bed. This is the only <laughs> shower, okay? Hey. This needs to stop. Now. <laughs> I know. I'm sorry, guys. I have work tomorrow. I was like, okay. I was like, I gotta pick a spot to leave off. I don't want to. I don't want to start it and then like, I like cut it off right in the middle. So. Before we get into the summation examination, I'm gonna save and we're gonna have to leave it right there for now. I know, I know, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Not like this. I was so into it. I know. Me too. I, I, I want to keep going, but no, nah, I, I, have, I have to wake up for work. I'm gonna be tired as fuck if I keep on going. You're a whore. Oh, wow. You're a whore, just admit it. Fuck you. Wow, You're Nemo. Whore. You whore yourself out online. You whore yourself out in front of your you family are... and your friends. You're a whore. You motherfucker. Whore. Just admit that you're a whore and a slut. And a harlot. <laughs> your giveaway tickets are now revoked. No objection. <laughs> Can't do it. <laughs> Salty ass motherfucker. <laughs> uh. Oh my god. I just saved, but fuck it. Let's save again. <laughs> I'm sorry, Toby. My first bro. I honestly. I have work tomorrow. Okay, so do I. At 5 a.m. This isn't a contest on who gets the least amount of sleep, Shimo. Bruh. Don't.
You're gonna bean me now when I'm trying to. You motherfucker. You fucking bitch. All right, Shadows. I'm taking away your VIP badge. <laughs> oh, oh my god. Objection. No. Oh my god, you son of a bitch. You son of a bitch. You're gonna make me eat those beans right now. Oh my. I hate you so much. I mean, it just means that you can play longer. <laughs> no, Chivo. I need at least six hours of sleep. Just before you go to bed, just so you have that taste of disappointment in your mouth. You, you motherfucker. Everyone thanks Shadows. Don't thank him. Fucker. God damn it. I gotta brush my teeth with this bullshit in my mouth. Oh my God. God damn it. Oh, great. Great. Dead fish. Great. Fucking beautiful. God damn it. Oh, my God. Actually, wait, 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 wait. Fuck, I can't tell. Barf and dead fish look so familiar. This might be barf, but either way, they both fucking suck. Spoiled milk and coconut. Oh, my Lord. Great. Barf again. Oh my god. Okay. Five. Uh, what? Alright, we got two barfs or two dead fishes. I can't tell. They, they look very similar. One spoiled milk or coconut. Actually, well, yeah, it's barf or peach or dead fish and strawberry banana smoothie. I think these are barf, yeah. Nice. No, not nice. <laughs> Oh my god, toasted marshmallow, or the one I hate the most, fucking stink bug. God damn it. And then, uh, this is the, wait, what the fuck is this one? I don't know what this one is, because this, this one doesn't have any markings on it. Alright, well, let's get this shit over with. I hate stink bug the most, so we're going with that one first. Hey. Yes, you can. Hey. Just do it. All right, all right. Okay, all right. Three, two, one. Am I getting the toasted marshmallow or the stink bug? God fucking damn it. God. Come on, come on, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. I like this. This is cute. I want this inside of me. <sighs> oh my god, oh my god. Come on, come on. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Alright, I have no idea what this one is, but give me something good. <clears throat> Spicy. Okay. Spicy. This is good. This is good. Spicy. This is strawberry banana smoothie. Thank God. A little bit spicy. <laughs> spicy. God damn it, dude. Spicy. <laughs> you motherfucker. <laughs> okay. At least we got one good one. Still got that fucking stink bug in my mouth, though. Okay. Barf or peach? Oh my god, that's, 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 that's definitely barf. That's definitely barf. Oh. 
<laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god, oh my god. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh my god, oh my god. Am I gonna get double barfed? Let's find out, shall we? Please, no, please, no. Oh my god, no! Just one more. Just one more. Just one more. Okay. Even if it's coconut. I mean, even if it's spoiled milk, whatever. Calm stretch, baby. Shadows. You're lucky that you streamed those UFC fights, or I would have fucking banned you by now. <laughs> you bitch. You had. Couldn't do it at the beginning of the next stream. No, I had to do it right at the end, right before I brush my goddamn teeth. Damn it! Okay, coconut. I hate coconut, but better than spoiled milk. All right, everyone thinks shadows. You're more than welcome, Nemo. <laughs> Sharpie banana stink bug. But also, isn't all fish we eat dead? I'm gonna Thanos you, Meg. <laughs> <laughs> Who barfed and barfed again? Double bar, fucking I do. Oh, okay, we're done. <laughs> spoiled milk, spoiled milk. Dang it! <laughs> God damn it, Toro! You motherfucker! No! <laughs> You've been here this whole time. Oh my God! I shouldn't laugh, but I'm dying over here. <laughs> it's it. It's okay. It's okay. I do this for you guys. Why? I have no fucking idea. Alright, we're done, we're done, we're done. <laughs> ah, okay. Alright guys, now that is the end of the stream. If I didn't have a fucking cooldown on this, I bet you one of you guys would have beamed me again. Don't look at me like that, you know you would. You know you would. You guys are like, yeah. Yeah, that'd be awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Live fish taste. Now he's gonna learn to take off redemptions 30 minutes before he ends the stream. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh no. Why do you gotta give people nightmares before I end? God, uh, thanks to the stream, brother man. Yeah, dude, no problem. Thanks to lurking, bro. But yeah, guys, this is the end of today's stream. If it was your first time here and you enjoyed yourself, make sure to slap that follow button, turn on those notification bells, ring a ding ding, get notified when I go live next. If you want to follow me on any of my social medias, there is my Discord, Instagram, Spotify, Twitter, and YouTube. If you enjoyed any of the music I play here on stream, feel free to check out my playlist on my Spotify. I will be uploading this VOD onto my YouTube so that if you missed it or you want to uh, re-watch uh, any parts of it, I should have it up by sometime tomorrow. I'll see if I can uh, get it edited and at least start uploading tonight before I go to bed. Um, I also have highlights on there as well as clip compilations. And yeah, if you want to see uh, pretty much what's going on in my IRL life, Instagram is best, the best place to follow me. Um, and yeah, feel free to join us on Discord, chat with us off stream. I am doing some giveaways on there for people that are following the channel as well as people who are subscribed to the channel. 
Um, if you're in the States and you are subscribed, you have one more week to enter into the Xbox Series S giveaway. For those of you guys that purchase tickets, I will be adding those in after the stream. And um, yeah, on my Discord, we're doing giveaways for Steam gift cards, random Steam keys, all that good shiz. But yeah, guys, thank you very much for being here. Meg, Missyvil, Shadows, Vega, Toro, Footlong. Uh, and anybody else that I missed. And also, we're also doing, uh, we have two new community challenges that are live. Mario Kart 8 Tournament, as well as uh, Visage Chapter 3. Shout out to my lurkers. Thank you very much for lurking. I hope you guys enjoyed this stream. I will see you guys. Next stream will be on Thursday, 8 p.m. Pacific. We're going to be playing some more 7 Days to Die with Twitch integration. And then on Friday, I'll be live at 8 p.m. For the 2x spicy ramen challenge after i complete that i'm going to be starting up my second but ectoro's first playthrough of a way out so you guys are more than welcome to join for any of those streams that's pretty much what i got lined up for the rest of the rest of the week saturday is most likely not going to be streaming on saturday because it's christmas and i'm going to be doing a i'm going to a family dinner and it's my friend's birthday on christmas as well so i kind of want to um swing by his place and kick it with him for a little bit so yeah, Thursday 8 p.m. and then Friday 8 p.m. Pacific. If you want to see my stream time in your time zone, just go to the schedule, go to the schedules page on my Twitch channel, or if you're in my Discord, you can just go to the events at the top of my Discord, and you'll see uh, my stream in your time zone. Thanks for the stream, Sam. Great start of the day. Thanks for stopping by, Meg. I appreciate it. Cat, yeah. sorry I missed you there. Thanks for hanging out too. But yeah, Meg, have a great day at work. Get some, uh, get some good rest. Can't wait for more, more Ace Attorney. Yes. We'll, we'll resume right where we left off here um, next uh, next to the show, yeah, in a week, in a week from now. If I had the points, I thought of doing it. <laughs> Take care, Shadows. But yeah, guys, have yourselves a lovely morning, afternoon, evening. I appreciate all the support. Uh, Brian, thanks for the 30 months. Crystal, thanks for the 7 months. Session with the 26. Ingrid with the 13. And uh, yeah, guys. Thanks for your time as always. You guys take care. I will see you on Thursday. Good night. Cheers. Bye bye guys. Bye bye bye.